problem with women. We hate women and we butt sex each other. Hi, I'm Father Frank and I'm a cocksucker. Living in a world that doesn't understand. We have the effect of Tylenol PM. <laughs> we stink. <laughs> bye bye. Join them as they travel to a remote Wyoming mountain to experience trust, friendship, and love. I love spooning nude with another man. Ooh. And the most fabulous disco music this side of the Rockies. Break out the rubber gloves. Pound, 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 pound. I'm just going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. We pounded for two hours. We just pounded each other's ass. Broke back disco. What do you guys say we show a little bit of our program unity and I'll go to the men's room together? Jimmy's taking a dump. I got to pee. There's only one toilet. Open up your legs, Jimmy. That's right. Putting the home in homo. Can I suck your cock? Can you grab the shit? Make sure you get a handful of hair and yank up and down. Coming soon. The one guy's laying back. The one guy's blowing him. Hold on tight. We're no. going to be wet. To a bathhouse near you. Strap it on and stick it square up your ass with a Frederick of Bimble. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Opie has a body on. you but you smell <laughs> smell so delicious <laughs> just sitting out there on this Saturday night about 70 degrees and you fucking losers are listening to the radio oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so if you in here with your woman listening to this show you are already in a big fucking mess cause at least you should be out and leave that bitch in there by herself oh uh, <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Black Phillip <laughs> with Patrice O'Neill. And for those who don't know what Black Phillip concept is, uh, <coughs> it was spawned by my, um, as as Mr. Opie, our benefactor, Greg Hughes <laughs> said, it's just a, it's just a a, a, ba- a baby of Patrice O'Neill. Uh, con- what he said should edit himself. <laughs> <laughs> as I as anytime I'm on the radio, I never stick to the subject, and I always seem to go off about women, no matter what. <laughs> hey, what do you think about Mars, man, and that new moon? I don't know, but bitches make me sick. <laughs> Jupiter looks like a titty. <laughs> Hour and a half later, you <laughs> change the subject. <laughs> like, you know what? Why don't you do that on your own fucking why show? You, why don't you do that shit by yourself, nigga? <laughs> so, so we we uh, come up with the uh, advice show for it's it's really not um it's not I'm, I, people think I'm a, a woman hater. I'm not a woman hater. I'm a woman helper. I like to help women. I like to give them advice because basically it's just I want to teach men how to give their women different options on how to think. And that's what I think a lot of problem is, lies in relationships. There are not other options for bitches to think. They just think the way they think since uh, the year one or whenever pussy became important on this planet. And they just think the way they think. And, n- and as men, we are so afraid of losing Whatever we're afraid to lose, I don't know if it's if it's sex. If we cancel out sex, it can't be just sex. But I, I don't know. But anyway, I have um some guests in 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 the, in the studio, and I have to do say that Opie is the benefactor. Here. He he suggested the show, and um I really appreciate it. And he's here to help out because I am not a radio guy, but one day I will be, and I can just tell him to stay the <laughs> fuck home instead of being here with his messy hair <laughs> and his woman that doesn't want to be here. She's like, let's go out and enjoy the evening. Well, we, had, we, we did have plans, so. <laughs> yeah. but I turned my brain off on weekends. I'm just going to sit here and stare at you <laughs> and just with relax. this goofy look and, <laughs> and hope you do all right. Now, and you should introduce these yeah, guys. Yeah, I'm going to introduce This is This is my... 
my as as you say in the streets this is my uh these are my consigliaries in terms of life um we have first we have Kathleen Roll Hello. <clears throat> who is there, there's a reason for her to be here and and there's a term called a hole that this show uses like some chick but I'm, she's not just a hole she's a hole but she's not a she's she's a sort of a kind of she's a girl but the one main focus that I, I love about her is that she has rationale like a man. She's um she's in Mensa, okay, which is like you have to be super genius to fucking be in Mensa. Yeah, I don't know about super genius. Well, you can't be the average dummy in no. Mensa. What are you like a one fifty? One fifty one. So but it's a, not significant. Anymore. Right. She's a dumb smart bitch, but she's <laughs> for Mensa <laughs> for Mensa crowd it's like look at this look at this dicky bimbo whore. <laughs> yeah. She used to right. suck our dick over coffee. <laughs> 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 but Kathleen, we have great conversation. She's not very uh super emotional like most women are where they she feeds off her uh, her her just her gut and, and, and she actually has a couple of things to say. And uh, we really have a good uh, uh, banter when we talk. So as she's uh, in here, and and she's she's a little new to the radio game, a little new to this thing. So she's gonna be a little nervous. So um, you know, nervous. She's le- sweating. She, I know. Uh, uh, it's she's 45 degrees like in the studio, pig. and she's you sweating. You can't see. You can't see her. She's around. What, you were like 37, 38. I am your age. God damn it! Would you stop? She with has the to age be at shit? least 38, 39. Mm. And she's sweating like a pig under her arm. She's I'm, wet, and she tries uh, to dress like young, like these Bowery Street bitches. I'm not, <laughs> and I'm you not can just dressing see young. I wore a lightweight they're, cotton they're, t-shirt. They're beyond crow feet. Be. This bitch has I have pelican, no, got pelican hands on her eyes. <laughs> I, I have less crow's feet than you, Patrice. Mine's and fat. I'm white. At least you're in shape. With crow, your crow's feet look like uh, motherfucking those, pit, those cartoon pigeons that people draw <laughs> it is amazing but i is, <laughs> have perky breasts so. she does she looks good she this is one she's perfect she's a she's a perfect person because she is ho- a hottish middle-aged broad she's I, she's a comic I'm but awful. but her purpose here is that i i really think she's a, a you know a, a super smart girl and fucking has a lot and know it has a lot of knowledge about the love thing and it's not and it's not emotional it's not like yeah you're, you're fucking an asshole you're she sits there and she rationalizes it like a dude would and that's why i appreciate it and that's why she's here and the second guest is really this is my one of my best friends in the world uh we we go back and forth um, analyzing the pimp game, pontificating <laughs> life, pontificating <laughs> life, right. and bitches. It's if you ever seen pictures of Gavin that does the show. Gavin is about seven foot five, and it's like if you seven if five. you take an anvil and drop it on Gavin, <laughs> that's Dante, and he still has all the muscles as Gavin. More tattoos, live more life than he's lived eighty five uh, different lives, and yeah. he's a super fucking genius too, and um and and, and that's why he's here. So Dante. Uh, fucking Reggie Nero and Kathleen Roll, who <clears throat> will be uh, my guest host um, for as long as this show exists, and uh, <clears throat> that's it. So, welcome to our our little show. And, Thanks uh, for having. I'm gonna me. explain well, something. <clears throat> oh Jesus, AIDS kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna explain first of all why why I got this attitude. A lot of people know that I've been to Brazil um, a few. Ten times at least, and what happened is I had an epiphany in Brazil for some reason that I hate to fly. I hate to fly, and I I used to get on a plane for ten hours, not round trip. Ten hours there, ten hours back to fly and hang out with third world hookers. Now there has to be some sort of, you know, you have to rationalize it, like pass. Oh, I'm going to get some pussy. It's it's this this. There's other places closer. Yeah. <laughs> do, uh, why do you have to go to Brazil to get that quality of a hooker? I mean, can't you find that here? Uh, it's the no. mentality. No. Is it a men- oh, you, We talked about it. You it's said it was the a mentality. It's the mentality of the, the prostitute. You mean she acts like she likes it? Is that it? it it's... They... The, the prostitutes in this country act like women. They act like... They act like women that they actually have dignity and rules and things like that, oh. and they make sure. <laughs> which, oh, in Brazil which I don't, they have. Which, no, 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 no. I'm going to explain it. They, they, they in Brazil, they, 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 they pretend to love you so much 
that there's something about giving them money that you're not giving them money like you're not buying pussy. They don't make you feel like you're some piece of shit buying pussy oh. and you don't and in turn you don't make them feel like they're some piece of shit selling pussy. Here there's a weird war where you disrespect prostitutes. It's like bitch, you're selling pussy and they're like, Well, you probably got a fucking wife at home, you fucking stinking mother you you fucking here catching AIDS from me and fucking you got a wife and kids and you're a piece of shit. It's a it's it's the same combative Thing right. that you have that with you free get, bitches, yeah, that you get with a wife. That you like, get with somebody you that you don't pay money yeah. for. I when you go to point. Brazil, you see men, rational men, walking around holding whores' hands that you fucked yesterday. Like <laughs> you have to, and you have to walk up to them. You're like, hey, how you doing? And you have to pretend you didn't just. Hi, this bitch yesterday. Hey, how, how it, you doing, it, it, it. Inca? And she's like, hello. And he's like, I'm, I'm going to take her own, kissing her in the mouth. And you just go, wow. But it's something about him that make you, it's a weird feeling. And what happened and what came over me and, and what it culminated from is from the past where I used to be Mr. Write a Poem for a Bitch, Mr. Uh -huh. Hey, I want to go out to uh, oh my blah, God. blah, blah, blah. You wrote Mr. poems. I oh. used to. You know what I used to do? Bring roses. No. Roses, wow. poetry. <laughs> Here's what I used I'd to do. I'd like to see some of these poems. Here's what I used to do in high school. And I'm going to tell you, just so you don't oh. think that I'm some... You got to understand, I'm a fat motherfucker. And you got to understand that I had to... I, I got tired of just fucking fat girls. Even though I do like fat girls. I do like them innately like fat girls. But the reason I I wanted to fuck hot women, and I'm like, I know I've seen fat motherfuckers with hot women. <sighs> and when I was a kid, I would write... Not, my poems used to be... Ever see, what was that show where they used to show a picture? They would show a picture, um, and it's like, it'll be a B... And then and then they'll write the plus sign and then a leaf and it would be the word uh, believe you know, oh, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. it was called a rebus so oh. I would I would write a bitch a poem I cherish you and I would write an eyeball cherry and then a chair <laughs> and then plus ish and I'll go here's your uh, thing baby and I wanted to know if I could take you out on a goofy. date and she would go get your fat punk ass out of here and I got what the fuck why can't I get the pussy I want and eventually. All over these years since high school, it's been like a, not an anger, but a frustration. Like, what does it take? Does it take 75 push-ups? No. Does it take a 1,000 sit-ups? No. Does it take a nice car? No. Does it take a, a, a fucking super motorcycle? No. It takes confidence. There's a, and it has to be righteous confidence. Now, you find, do you find <clears throat> that you get, the, you get these women now? In the city because of the confidence and the, the kind of revelation that you got in Brazil. Yes, the, but let me say what the revelation was. Why the revelation was why the fuck am I flying ten hours in this death trap to go see third world pussy? Why? So when you say why, this is a, this is one of the big yeah, problems I, I, that really men like and women have. That men, men have mostly. We have a primal instinct that we feel in our gut. And a lot of times, the fact that the world's so pussy now, that I believe that's just infested with vaginas and how they think, that men cancel out their <clears throat> the primal. Thought. That right. thought where, you know, if your, your wife does something, you, you know, or, or, or this guy's wife does something, and th that guy's wife does something, it, they get a feeling like in your stomach. Your woman ever do something and in your stomach, you go, what's this fucking bitch? But... But it's like she does it, and it's something about what she does that isn't wrong. You can't pinpoint what it is. Like, if you go, bitch, you out your mind? She'll go, what? All I did was that for the orange juice. And you know she did something mm -hmm. other than that. Right, right. But you can't. There's you, the, intention, okay, that's the intention. The intention of what she, what is going on behind that. Yes. Yeah, that's that, it, it's a manipulative. We're, the, in our culture, right. it's. We are raised to be. Women are raised to be manipulative. Raised by. I don't who? even think. I don't even think they're, I, the, they're I, manipulative. I, I, I understand purpose. what you're saying. Like she can't come out and say like I. I whatever she wants the, to um, say. It has to be something with the orange juice. The like she, the she won't look thing. mean. Whereas the Brazilian women would come out and tell you. No. You know, I don't like your hat or whatever. No, they no, don't. You're no. talking about the the uh the sleeping on what side of the bed. What's right, right, right. that? What's that? That's what you're talking about. It's the subtle. It Subtle, innate, I'll tell, I'll tell, manipulative. I'll tell a story about yeah. that's the, this, what's a subtle, innate, manipulative, and I don't even think it's on purpose. 
I think it's just it's, it's natural. Never it's malicious. so organic in a way. Uh, uh, the manipulation is so organic. Let me tell the story about that. Mm. Let me tell what happened years ago. My ex girlfriend, who, who I'm still friends with now, there was we was going to bed. You know, I used to hang over house and stuff. We was go to sleep. And one day, and this is what I'm talking about, having a, a, a feeling, or just a feeling like, what the fuck? I, I hate this bitch, but I don't know why. She said, let's go to bed. We're going to bed, okay? So she goes, before we get to bed, she goes, what What side of the bed do you want to sleep on? And I go, well, um, this what? side. Then she goes, but then I won't be able to see the television. Huh? So I'm like, in my gut, I'm like, well, what the bitch? I didn't ask which side of the bed to sleep? Just get on the fucking right, side right. of the bed you want to sleep on. Why did you ask me that shit? So in my stomach, I wanted to curse her out. But in my mind, I'm like, wait a minute. If I curse her out for this, she'll be like, hello, what please. Is wrong this with this you? is the yeah. Raven Maniac yeah, here. Right. So what I learned to do over the last five years, and of course, like meeting with Dante, meeting with Kathleen, is I learned a way to just immediately become philosophical about my anger and go, okay, why am I angry Okay, I'm angry because she did this. And and just that little story is basically she did that because she, women have two things in their head. They have the thing that makes them go, I love you. You're a man. You're bitter, bigger than me. You're stronger than me. You fucking, and I, can't even, me I can't even open this pickle jar without you. And then oh, it's the other God. side of their brain that goes, you <laughs> faggot ass bitch. What the fuck you give a fuck? Why are you? Loving this motherfucker so much. So what they want is they want the girl shit at the expense of your manhood. Yeah. They want your manhood at, at, when they want it. it here's the problem. I, I think you, you get a situation where men in general, when they meet women, women, they send the representative. What I call the representative. That's the public relation guy. The suit. Where you have to send the jerry curl guy with the gold teeth from the mail room first. You got to send him up front. You to can't, do what? To to, when you first meet a woman, you have to you have to be the guy that you are, not with in mind that you're trying to lay her or or plow. You got to be the guy that you are. But see, you're moving ahead because this is where we have to come in. Right. It's because you got to understand where this is coming. This show is to help mm. help all the guys to first of all to make sure that if you ever break up with your girl, I don't got a deal with this bitch and your lack of raising her correctly. Yeah, and now if I got to deal with. You don't raise your bitch correctly. Right. You are you are potentially putting me <laughs> in a <laughs> fucked up situation. If you don't raise her right. It's like having a child and you don't raise them in the house and then they walk out in the streets and right. they fucking rob people and they steal and they fucking say, "Hey baby, hey bitch." It it's because the parent didn't raise them right. It's it's I got to deal with your horse shit, fellas. This show is basically to help men in in a nutshell understand to help you get to be able to introduce another option to how your girl thinks now, that's please, what this show is about what about i want to go back to your the girlfriend in the bed thing right you okay do you think the reason she did that was to it, it was insecurity it's she a, wanted to it's, know it's a codependent would, it's yeah. an arrogant she was arrogant and humble at the same time she wants me to give her the the man shit like open the door like oh, take honey, my put I, my yeah, coat on okay. for me she that, wants the sucks. gentleman that's, part but she yeah. doesn't want the humbleness she doesn't want the humbleness to say sweetie um the, here's your decision that she, that I'm giving you as a man I'm forcing you to make the right decision it's a forcing it's an unnatural thing it's not tapping into my desire because that's what women don't know how to do is tap in to a man's desire to see if she knew how to do that I would automatically give her the side of the bed she wants cuz I would go in my mind I would go sweetie um you might not be able to see if I'm on the side you know and I'm getting tired you know just lay on the side but my mind wasn't so entrenched in her shit that I was just going, hey, I'll lay anywhere. But she had pretense. You understand? And I picked up on the pretense. That's what my stomach picked up on was the pretense that she had to, <clears throat> to. I'm like, what? And her question, her question of where you want to sleep is not an honest, it's not an honest question. Right. And the, That's and the, the point. And the primal instinct that we it get as men. It absurd to me. But of I, course. A, as a woman, though, I... I I was I don't know I I don't do that I whatever I think generally comes 
flying out now of my mouth. Now, who's the proof that you don't do that, Kevin? Because I find that hard to believe. Okay. Because you're a girl. <laughs> yeah, really. You're having trouble saying what you feel really? now. You're going, because you, see, she's bumbling it's over the, her words because she, dialogue. she wants to, yeah, exactly, it's a, her it's other half. It's dialogue. Because in, let me tell you what's going on. If you're listening. I would not. If, if, if I wanted to watch TV, I would say, could I lay where I could see yeah, the shit. Yeah, but up. Here's, here's, here's what happens. Shut up, shut up. I, would, here's, here's I don't what happens. You, 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 don't. You, you don't. You don't. You don't. And stop. Because I've had conversations with you. You do a lot of this. Like, this is... You ever talk to Kathleen? The one yeah. thing that bugs me is she goes... Ah. Because she's trying to find the right I thing to say. N- you, you're you're at less emotional than most because you have a few personalities. Kathleen is like a chick dude, and she's in constant I'm not both like sides. Her masculine and feminine aspects is uh, always uh, at uh, odds. Uh, like uh, it, it's always at odds because uh, you're finding that way to say what you want to say. Do you understand? You don't have a prime. Your primal instinct is not honesty. You you don't come from honesty. I, you're not I born in honesty. Not, you're not born. Women are not born I would disagree in honesty. With you, Patrice. you don't need to be. You don't need to have charisma. You don't need to figure it all out. You just need to have. Look at men have developed a lot of different verbal skills that women haven't because you haven't had to. There's no need for you to have to have. Uh, uh, a a com- conversational ability, and when you do have conversational ability, you force it on guys because you know that most women don't. So you you kind of just rah, fly over guy <laughs> like a big goddamn hawk and I, make a guy. I'm sorry, listen. I I force conversation on people. Go ahead, Hi. finish your thought. Hi, um, I I'm sorry, you're wrong. I Why don't I force wrong? conversation on people. You do. I mean, coming from you, yeah. that's absurd. But m- I know what I'm saying is infinitely more interesting. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because I, cause <laughs> I actually, exactly. not that's only do I have something. Confi- here's you're, here's a, what, something you do to a woman that will work 99.9% of the time. If she says, here's what I think, all you have to do to combat her is go, why? She never has the thought that actually... Uh, is the is the purpose for her thought? She just has a thought, but there's never a reasoning. Guys always have a reasoning you behind what we're know, saying. You always know but, that you're going to be questioned. Sure. That there's a possibility that if you make a statement, you will be questioned about why you said that the or truth, why you feel that way. You're very defensive. You're like so? there's constantly a battle. I need to with be females. Yes. And ma- yes. yes. Who the fuck else is going to do it if I don't? Who? Who? <laughs> Who's going to tell you to shut the fuck up if I don't? That's a, a good good point. I just, you know, the woman... <laughs> that's, exactly. that's a good point. Yeah. Because <laughs> you you know what? you sit, Women's the comfort zone is in The you're talking about, the woman with the, the bad thing. The, the women the that The woman I'm that, about. that you would go out with. Yeah. Th- this is an insecure thing to do. That. Now, my point, like, why is this woman in bed with a guy... That she need that is that insecure about? I mean that that woman did not know if you were if you loved her. That was Tell her it, thing. She was insecure. Kathleen, talk about the guy, the the goofy guy that you said was so sweet that you dumped him because he wanted to have kids. Remember you said. Remember when we were oh, talking about. I d- this that's not me. Yes, it was you. You said it was a guy. He's a doctor Kathleen, or something. Tap, tap into the personality that should be on this show. The, there was a guy that you said wanted kids and you couldn't give him what he wanted. So okay, I it, you know it wasn't what I'm talking about. Kids, but yeah, or, it was, or whatever. I, your okay. career. He was a do- yeah, yeah. He was a doctor. Now wait, what's the and, point of the story though? What's the point for you to get ready to say this story? What's what? Is, the what point, point is this was the not point an of, emotional thing though. The this point is guy, that you said. What what you said you said that you left him alone. You really liked him. You no, you said you yeah, really exactly. loved him, but you you let him go exactly. because you loved him and you couldn't give him what he want, exactly. which is crap. Bottom line is if you love somebody, you're Wait, willing to give. Wait, but let us tell the story though. Let us tell right. the story. Let us tell the story. Uh, it's a very basic thing. We we say were it. together. What he really wanted was you know to be married and have a different kind of life than when I was leading. He's like a doctor, gets up at six. Mm-hmm. I'm running around doing uh, comedy. 
And okay. it, ultimately, it's not going to work. This is not a guy out looking to get laid or whatever. Okay. This is what he wants. He's at the point of his life where he wants to settle down. He right. has his career. And it just didn't work out. That's it. There's it didn't no, work out because of There's no bed thing where the TV... No, no we got, mean, I'm not saying that. You watch TV in bed a lot. That was There was never issues with that. But this is what, <laughs> hold on, Daphne, Hold on a second. Hold on. This is what I'm saying. Now, you you think that you had a reason behind that, but let me tell you what the reason was. The reason was insecurity. Now, you left him because you. this is why. Because... It was it, you left him because you didn't have you wanted to have. It's like it's a fear of success. It's that self, uh, that self uh, destruction thing. That that, mm. that self degradation thing where you control. And I've done this a lot of time. That's that's. I'm a bridge burner. I'm a professional bridge burner. Mm. And I and burning bridges is basically when you feel like you are like a little nervous. Like say Opie says this. Yeah, hey yo, you want to come do this this radio show? And I am scared out of my balls, right? Mm. I come here, I do something to try to fuck up this radio show, but f on my terms, not right. come in here and face, give it a shot, face no, I, the, I the the stress of maybe sucking, but gave it a good try. You were scared of failing in that relationship on his terms, not living up to the doctor. Because you said, why would you have to say he was a doctor? You know why? Because that puts him at that puts him at a social level that you might, I'm a lowly comic, he's a doctor, yeah. he wants certain things that I can't give him. So instead of giving it a shot and maybe giving him certain things, you said, fuck it, I'm out of here. Because you was afraid of losing it on his terms because you're a girl. But Patrice, couldn't it just be the logistics of it? It would no. be like, okay, well, I'll call. I'll be done at ten. I'll call you. It's ten fifteen. He, I call. He's asleep. Yeah. I wake him up. He's a little pissed. Yeah. I get there. It's eleven. Does that sound like well, neediness? Doesn't, doesn't he annoying. get a chance? It, doesn't he like, get a chance to say? Why bother? Why not just? Doesn't he get a chance to say what he'll put up with? Him. Like, doesn't if you give it a shot and you give all you could give. Doesn't he get a chance to say what is enough or what's not enough? I just but you make, a, make you made difficult. the decision you know, for him. Not... You bailed on it before him instead of saying, this is what I got to give. Is that enough? And he could have said, hey, you know, I, it's not enough for me. And then you would have went each other's separate ways. I, well, what about you? You're married. What about me? <laughs> yeah, well, describe your marriage. Uh... I I I met I met my lady. I was a male stripper for eleven years. I met oh my. my <laughs> don't, I, that was that's one of his lies. <laughs> one of, no. That's I one of the forty lies. For I met her. And wait, don't. Hey, you have to let him know. Not only was you a male stripper, I he was, was the, the, male stripper the male stripper of this fucking in this in the tri-state region. And don't forget. <laughs> you were the number one. He was yeah. the, the nigga taking off his clothes. <laughs> God, I had no idea. Dog. See, there's a lot I, you I don't know that. about me. Ah, that That's old really pussy's late. waking up, huh? <laughs> 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 Something else is sweating beside those underarms there, fucking. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I met her stripping. Really? I met her stripping. You Okay, she <laughs> was like a customer. And no, you were... I met, she was stripping and I was stripping. Oh, well, that's kind of hot, a stripper couple. Is she, oh, man. His, you know what? Stop talking to her. Kathleen's nervous. She's just babbling now. Relax. Take That's a break. We're going to take hot. a call in a minute. Because I, I, I can feel you. Trust me, everybody. Kathleen Roll is fucking amazing when she when she's not under a little bit of pressure. She feels a little pressure. And I'm going to say she's amazing. But calm down because she's like, wow. She's back and forth. She's wow, like, that's yeah, hot. that's hot. <laughs> she, she has 14 personalities. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're trying to figure out which one. <laughs> but she's fucking amazing. But she's like, I don't, I don't. This is what, <laughs> see, this is what is great about her. She, she and she's perfect to have in here because like every other woman, no man challenges her dumb statements. <laughs> like she'll just make a statement and go, ah, and then a guy will go, okay, uh -huh. I want to fuck you, so I'll just listen to your horse shit. <laughs> and you'll go, and you'll go, you know what, baby? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. So it, it, it anyway, take we're gonna take our first call for the what? Take, take a, a break. Take a break, really? And regroup. Re and, and then come back and take calls? And then do a lot of phone calls when you get back. 
Oh, that's how you do it? All right. <laughs> a, uh, God, God, I think God is white. <laughs> <laughs> now, take right, a gonna, short break. Yeah, we're going to take a short break. The phones are lit. And uh, you'll, you'll, you'll take phone calls right, from the we're listeners. We're going to take a short break. Take about a their of, uh, relationship problems. How's calls? that sound? There you go. We'll All do right. that. All right, we'll be back in whenever the fuck. More with the Black Phillip after <laughs> these messages. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill, a two-hour relationship show. You're never going to meet a girl whose hymen ain't broken. You mumble-mouthed, fat-tongued mongoloid. It's the whole truth. She was calling you the Black Dr. Phil. With Patrice O'Neill. Bad, like, retard Steve. Fuck me! Love me! Feed me! That's what you do! Oh, I wanted to bite his face when he said that. Dopey smile. I'm a good man. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Now, just take that bitch by the back of her head. <laughs> Smash it into the bathroom sink. Being as Marvin Gaye, this segment should be about relationships with one's father. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Like two fathers. Oh, uh, sit her on top of the stove while it's on. <laughs> Wake her ass up, baby. What's up, man? Back to uh. Welcome back to Black Fill Up with Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> we have a special, uh, a special piece of um, amoeba here today, a little smushy, and uh, just the lovely Jimmy Norton. Everybody, no gig today, Jimmy. No fucking Schenectady. No fucking Alaska. No, no. shitty town somewhere you're performing in. I was in a little town called Aspen. You know, doing that silly festival. Oh, that oh. Fuck that festival. <laughs> I flew home a day early because uh, we have someone from Sabbath calling in Monday morning, and I was panicking I'd get caught in the snow. Sabbath. So Hope called me and said you were doing your show. Sabbath, so what, what, Black in. Sabbath. Yeah, I'm oh, good for you. He flew in a day early because he knew you were on the radio by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why am I letting him get away with that? Hey, that's I, just came, his position I just came down okay. here to support my buddy <laughs> Patricia. Right. What a worm. I what forgot. What a of shit Jimmy Norton is. That is the, no, that was the absolute Why don't you come down here and support me when I'm on in the morning and you're not on? Because... I don't like you. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I actually. What a, what a dick. That's not true. Oh, no, that's not true. I didn't. You said to me, bro, I'm pulling up to the studio and I'm in a cab. Patrice is doing a show tonight. He, he did call me when I was in a cab. I, no, I did in a cab. What's this fuck with you? Yeah, right. You should go to the phone, so, man. Yeah, I am. Uh, we're going to go to uh, number four. We're going to go to uh, Dino. And, no, not Dino. Sorry, Dino. We're going to number five. We're going to Ryan in Nevada. Oh. Ryan. Hello. Hi, Ryan. Hi, sweetie. How we doing, Patrice? I, I don't know. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Ah, hell, man. I'm fucking... I guess I'm all right, man. You's a funny fucking comic, man. You and Jimmy Norton. Uh, well, that's argumentative. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, why do you What's have up, to man? Hurt What's me? going on? I'm only fucking around. I could have been hey, me. All right, go ahead, man. I got... My, I've been fucking with my chick for about a year. And fucking... Uh, shit just has... I mean... Fucking picked up a new job driving truck and shit. Right. And fucking, uh, my chick just fucking tripped out on me. I mean, she's just fucking, totally fucking backing out, dude. On what level? I don't know what the fuck to do. On what, I mean, she's tripping out on what level is she tripping out? She's fucking going into all this shit about marriage and fucking all that shit. And, I mean, I'm just fucking chilling where I'm at, but I so don't know. So basically what you're saying, let's try to, let's try to figure this out. You're saying that this is this is classic. Is your you're happy in this situation that you're in with this girl? You're happy at the level it's moving. She's kind of your girlfriend. You you consider her your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay, so she's like you've given that 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 girlfriend title. You've probably been with her long enough for her to feel comfortable enough to put pressure on you to get married. But you got to understand. This is not her fault. See, there's a lot of things you have to understand, fellas out there, is that what women do uh, when they do these things, when they pressure you to marry them and they pressure you to do what they do, it's not their fault. That's what the fuck they do. So you have to dismiss what she wants. Dismiss that, that whole thing she wants to get married because that's what she wants to do anyway. But that's like them wanting to get married is like saying, we want, you know, I want to eat or I want to fucking wake up and look at something. That's what, that's what that marriage thing is to them. What you have to do is reassess establish your shit now one thing you have to do is you have to be able to take a l and a l in the hood means you have to be not afraid to take a loss 
to get your point across. So when she says and gives you that ultimatum, if you look like you're sweating and you're blinking and you're nervous about her leaving, she will take advantage gotcha. of that. You understand? So when she says, yeah. we're going to get married and we're, you have to go, you know what, sweetie? And you don't get mad. See, that's the bad, that's the, that's the, what, what we have over women is that we are not as emotional as them. We, we, we rationalize much more than they do. So if she's going, I want to get married. Here's what you do. Ask her why. You understand what I'm saying? And she'll go, yeah. she'll go just like this. Because uh, she never had to think of the second option. That's your job is to give them a second option to think. Why well, I want to get married. Why? Because <sighs> why does she say she wants to get married? Uh, it's just, I mean, I, 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 she's a Mormon girl. I mean, I was raised that shit growing up. But, I mean, fuck, that ain't my thing. I'm... Just a fucking redneck, beer right. drinking, goofy son of a bitch. Right? Who has a? And she was she was down for that. Like how long ago when you first met? She's like, I'm a I'm a I'm a redneck and down for drinking too. Fucking uh, uh, Ryan, I love you and I'll do anything you do. Right? And now she's switching up a little bit. Right? No, 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 man. She she was brought up that fucking br drinking was bad and all that shit. And right. I mean. I was brought up that way, but, I mean, I came to the fucking point that, you know what, if I want to go have a fucking beer with my bros, I'm going to have a fucking beer. Yeah. I mean, she don't want to do nothing that, I mean, I, I fucking gave ample shit, took her to concerts that she wanted to see, went places, but the minute I fucking started talking about, you know, going out hunting or fucking camping, fishing, right. it was she just kind of got this fucking pissed off look like, well, what the fuck do you want me to do? Go with you? Well, why do you think she wants to marry you, besides the fact that you're obviously very well-spoken? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, that's just a religion, man. She was She's freaking 19. I mean, the, El the Mormon religion, dude, they... They ha they want to be She's married 19. by fucking twenty and popping kids. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ryan. How old are you? I'm twenty five. She's a nineteen year old. And she wants to get. Don't married. get married till you're at least thirty five. I'm gonna tell you what what's going on there. I didn't I didn't even realize her age. She this is she's living by the ABCs of life right now. You understand what I'm saying? Like you've moved yeah. on. You might have thought something when you was eighteen, but you've moved on in your mind to 25 you understand she's still at the age she's still thinking that she needs to get married this is you got to understand fuck, fuck talking about her ryan you have yeah. to change how you approach her not how she approaches you she's right on schedule she's a goofy fucking right out of high school or i don't know she grabs she's she's, she's she's right out of eighth grade <laughs> Whatever, but you well, gotta nah, understand. Young, she's fucking. She's doing what she's, she's supposed she's to doing do. Doing what she's supposed what to she's do. Supposed to. You do. have to not get emotional with her. It has. It has to not be. Uh, 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 stop having negotiations with her. Stop trying to give her things to make her happy so that she lets you go out to fucking hunt and lets you go out to drink. You have to say, look, sweetie, this is how it is. And you have to be ready for her to walk out of your life, Ryan. That is, you ever see that movie Heat? Don't get involved with something you can't walk out in less than 30 seconds. D d yeah. Make her, pressure her. To make a decision, because one thing women need from you that if you don't give them, they fucking flap around like a fish out of water, is emotions. If she goes, I got to get married, and I don't want you to go hunting, and you go, oh, sweetie, we're not going to get married for a while, and I don't know when, and I'm going hunting right now. I'll see you later. Yeah. You don't have to be here if you don't want. Kiss her on the cheek and be really cold, because now she has to, her emotions have to eat on themselves. You understand what I'm saying? So let her emotion eat her own soul up and have you just, then she'll think of another option. Because basically, she's not walking out your life unless you're crushed. Women don't leave yeah. unless you're fucking completely unless they fucking. Matter. Unle if they have to matter. Exactly. They never walk leave. out if you're indifferent on the couch. Ex mm. Never. If you go, goodbye, nice talking to you. I love you, but you, you know, you have to live your life. That bitch will not. She Leave. won't take a step. And she's Trust 19. Me. Trust she, me. She don't even have the tools. Yeah, but she's to, Mormon yeah. and about it. She'll Thanks, Ryan, man. Just, just try that. Just make sure that you put the pressure 
on her to to make her own decisions. Don't let her make you be an asshole so that she can be comfortable enough to hate you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't let her yeah. force you to hit you, hit her or something, and she now she can hate you and tell all her friends you're a wife beater and a this, that, and the other, and then she can feed off her own hatred towards you and exist. But if you're a nice guy about it and you tell her to get the fuck out your face, but you say it in an indifferent way, she has nothing to eat. So she has to come for you for some nourishment, emotional nourishment. All right, Ryan? Yeah. All right, see you later. Hey, right, thanks, man. All right, we're going to go to, um, we're going to go to, uh, 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 three, number three, Rob in Ohio. Rob. Yeah, what's up, Patrice? What's, what's going on, man? man? What's up, thanks. Hey, listen, all right, I'll be, backstory will be quick. Been married four years. My wife hasn't blown me since we've been married. She gives me sex maybe once a month. I'm on a bachelor party in another city. Do I uh, do I have a legitimate beef to to get some ass tonight? Even if she is fucking you every night. What's his name? Is, uh, what's Ro is Rob? Rob, this is Dante. Yeah. Uh, nothing helps a marriage more than cheating. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> This makes it easier because if you if if is, whenever you're cheating, it's nothing that she can say that would upset you after you get home. Nothing. And it, <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, that's get a, a little good head point. And, and the like, guilt yeah, you feel will cause it. you to do shit around the house that you never would have done. You'll <laughs> cut the grass, you'll paint the living room, you'll do what she wants you to do because you're <laughs> well, guilty. Oh yeah. Let yeah. me tell you something, Rob. Let me yeah. tell you something Definitely about, about about oh. this this situation cheating. Is you got to understand that first of all, think to yourself why you have you ever cheated on her before? No. All right. Jesus. No. Think to yourself. Wow. Why don't you cheat on her now? <laughs> Fuck. Why don't you cheat on her? Because that's some that's some fucking magical shit women invented. Because you know you we're not I, cheating. We're, can I? We're, have... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Kevin. Just it, real quick. Why do you? Why do you stay faithful to her? What's your reason? Uh, I'm pathetic. No, no. Oh, no. It's fear. It's fear. What, why? Oh, no. Why do you stay? Why don't you go get side pussy? Why don't you? Just why? When you, in your own. For what your about own? her? Why is she only happy with sex once a month? Because. Because I mean. Do, you know, is it a switch, chore? Bait and switch. Bait go ahead. Switch. She used to put out all the time before we got married, and and all that stuff. And then as soon as we got married, she found Jesus, and uh, she doesn't do it anymore. Oh, oh yeah. she found Jesus. Look, okay. That's, a, that's an, excuse. an excuse. Yeah, that's an excuse. Listen, dude. Let then me tell, definitely. Let me, let me explain. Let me explain what what happened to you. This is, and this is a sad thing. And sometimes you have to face the truth. And I think pathetic was the right word. And but we we all get pathetic until you get that gene in you where you just want to be a pimp and want to be happy. You have to say to yourself. Okay, look, you can't love a woman like a woman loves you. You cannot give energy to her the same way she gives it to you. You can't go booby bear. You can't hold her hand because she's holding yours. It's a distance thing. You have to, if she loves Jesus, okay, and no offense to God, but you put pressure on her to love you as much as she loves God, okay? God, she's loving Jesus. He's a... He's a, 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 a entity. Like, you can't see him, but something's there for making her chase Jesus. That's what she's doing. you got to make her chase you. Do you understand? Stay gone yeah. for a couple of days. Fucking have other things to do besides worry about how much she loves you and you love her. you got to get a life, dude. You don't have a life. If you're worried about going to a bachelor party where fucking is like you're supposed to fuck <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what am I going to do? You're rationalizing cheating. But you know what? Don't do it. If you, if it's righteous, there's a righteous fuck and there's a dishonest fuck. Now, if you're fucking somebody at this bachelor party dishonestly, meaning you're just doing as it. As a result, as a, as a payback. As a payback? Tit, a tit for tat. And you got to want to do it. it if has, you want to do it. It has to be just a fucking. You, you just got to be the desire is organic and honest. Yes. So if you're gonna get if you're gonna go to this bachelor party and get some righteous pussy, don't even look back, because it's not about her. What do you do other than do you masturbate a lot? Is that, that it? Uh, no, I just deal with it. 
He jerks off. Yeah. Of course he does. <laughs> and dude, if she's so into Jesus, and if nothing else works, just grow a beard and put on a loincloth yeah. and say, blow with me. <laughs> I was thinking that if you can incorporate, get her to... To think of sex and religion together, it could be kind Dude, of hard. You don't have. Here's what you do. It's very easy, man. They they want. They don't want what they can have. And right now, I think she has you, because even in your in your attempt to be evil, you're still kind of like have a like a worthless kind of yeah. self image. You have you can't cheat and be thinking about how you're hurting her. Yeah. You you understand what I'm saying? You have to if if well, cheating on her helps your self esteem, you do it, but you do it righteous yeah. to help you, not to as a result that she won't suck I'm your gonna dick. I'm gonna show her. Well, you're assuming yeah. this is a vindictive blowjob. Maybe he just wants a blowjob. I'm asking saying, that. if That's he what does, I'm then yeah. All right, thanks a lot, man. Thanks, Rob. Thanks a lot, man. All right, we're going to go to, I mean, who's good? Half black, half white. I want to see what, what you have to say uh, to Brian in Chicago. All right, that's who we need. All right, let's say hi to Brian in Chicago. You're on with Patrice O'Neill. Hi, guys. Thank you for taking my call. Thanks, man. Hey, uh, I have a kind of a strange question. I'm in an area where there are a lot of seemingly materialistic chicks, and I'm always going out on dates, always going out with these girls. And after you get past the surface of getting to know a girl, there's nothing because they care more about what you can buy for them instead of what you can do and how you can treat them. Mm -hmm. Is well, there like a pre-screening thing that you could suggest so I don't have to waste my time with these materialistic bitches? No, no. It, it, this is, again, introduce options. you got to understand Good that es essentially that most loser women, all they have to barter is their pussy. They don't have right. anything else. Men have so many other things to bother when it comes to the sex game and the relationship game. Like when you gotta understand when again, it's not their fault. Never look at it as like their fault because they all do it. So it has to be some type of nature involved. When when you walk up the street, man, if you if you're an ugly motherfucker, hunchback, and you walking with some type of like fucking swagger, cr swagger, yeah. a woman can look at you and everybody could be laughing and going, look at this hunchback motherfucker. But Ooh, like that somebody hump, might something go, about yeah, that hump this, is, how is this sexy. Like a, I with a hunchback, look at hold, on, hold on, how can this motherfucker with a hunchback look like he should be fucking me? We have <laughs> other, there's other things that make us attractive to women. Initially, there's only one thing that makes them attractive to us, and that's fucking them. And then it builds from there. But they right. like us more than fucking us on the front end, and then they like us like for fucking us in the back end. We like them to fuck them in the front end, and then we go, wow, she's kind of cool on the back end. So basically, you got to understand that when you're meeting these women, essentially, they're losers. Do you feel what I'm saying? That yeah, that do. she has to get something out of her pussy, dude. She has to get dinner. She has to get a movie. Mm. How can she function if she doesn't get something out of what she has? So it's a barter system, but you got to think of it like this. That you, our bodies aren't as important to us as their bodies are. So when you're taking her out to dinner and, and spending time with her and taking her to the movies, you got to understand that that's her way of fucking you. And if you take her out... Five times, she fucked you five times, and you haven't <laughs> fucked her yet. So basically what you're doing is driving down a one-way street behind this bitch, a narrow one-way street behind her, and you can't pass her. So if you find yourself getting stuck behind a chick on, in a one-way, you turn off the first available exit, and you get the fuck off that road so you can either get in front or you try to get a, 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 in a situation where you're ahead because you can never get ahead like by making a, a stand on the back end let me explain it's like it's a thing called the punk test when i was younger um this dude fucking robbed me robbed me for my first piece of jewelry i ever had and before he actually stuck that gun in my face he knew he was gonna rob me he knew he could rob me because he did a series of things that made oh. him know mm -hmm. this motherfucker's a pussy. He bumped into me, and I'm like, "Hey, why'd you, why'd you step on my feet? Why'd you do that?" <laughs> he he fucking he 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 walked up behind me. He fucking he was like saying shit under his breath, like this motherfucker sucks, this that and the other. And then once he made the move to rob me, he really didn't need a gun because he already knew he had had me. Mm. So when a woman gets you like that, dude, you can't get from under that rock by now. 
like showing your manhood it's card gradual. When, it's a gradual. when she sees that she took your manhood that she that she's this guy's in love with me this guy i know a girl that mm. said i don't let nobody pull my hair until i tell them to bitch shut the fuck up you got to say to yourself that i am the director <laughs> Of my movie. Bitch, you in my movie. Mm -hmm. So if you take a chick out to dinner, yes, that's the fair thing to do. But don't take you, her you out twice anyway. until, as soon as you get that, <laughs> that fucking gut feeling that the world tries to take away from a man, yeah. that we want to fuck. You know that thing that, yeah. oh, it's not right to want to fuck. Mm. We want to fuck, bitch. As soon as you breathe, as soon as we see you, we want to fuck. <laughs> that's, it is what it is. So when right. you, when you take her out to dinner, I'm telling you, you introduce fucking right after dinner. <laughs> you f you fucking go, hey man, hey so you say something dirty like you really got some nice fucking titties, and and give her the option to leave or stay, but you always put another option. She's not. Don't let them fuck you, cause dinner movie time is fucking you. And are you a whore? You can't let a woman whore out your time. You understand what I'm saying? Right, Cause, so let cause, know that if I'm if I'm giving for her, she's got to give for me right back. No, it, it it's not like you got to you got to right. It's you, not. It's a, it's she's gonna try and gradually take your manhood by small steps, and then before you know it, you're sitting in the shoe store carrying her bags. You gotta like you gotta first up front decide what you want out of this, and if and if what you want is sex, then that has to be that has to be obvious. That that's right. what you want, and if that's not what she wants, fine. There will be somebody else, especially if you're in a situation where there are, there are material material women around you. I would assume that you're you you pretty you're doing pretty well financially yourself. Is that correct? I'm, I'm doing okay. I can right. Be doing better. So that's why you're in. That's why you're around these women, and they're attracted to you in the first place. So if you're if if that's what if you're looking for sex, you have to put that out up front because she will do small little steps to take your manhood in the interim right the point i want to ask you this where where are you meeting these women it's everywhere every, like well, you, it's everywhere because of the area that i'm in and and what i do for a living what do you do are, well i work for a non-profit agency <laughs> oh okay and and, and, and Are you fucking Katrina victims? <laughs> <laughs> Give somebody a trailer. <laughs> but with what I do, it's it's where I'm at at the gym, out in public. Uh, it's it's everywhere. It's not, it's not like I'm looking at one specific place. And you're in Chicago, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, it, <laughs> Kevin, you funny. <laughs> Kathleen, what the? Yeah, what are you trying to get to? Yeah, right, there to there get are to, people that, where his gym is. I I don't know or whatever, but yeah. there are women uh, that specifically go out to meet a guy that makes X amount of dollars. And oh, so you're trying to say how? She's like, yeah, she's, I, she's I was asking how you like some. Some uh, metrosexual motherfucking, you know, a guy better looking than bitches. And yeah, whatever, maybe whatever. go to a different gym or meet women elsewhere. You're still going to get the same. Yeah, I mean, Fundamentally, it's the nature of them to bitch you up. That always right. happens. The degree may be different from the gym to, 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 to gold digging chicks, but they all it's all about bitching you up. And it's not. And it's organic. Exactly. That's the thing you have to keep in your head, man. You cannot be angry at how they do it with such ease, man. They're, your your manhood it's like brushing your teeth. Is, exactly. It's constantly under siege, and you can't be mad at them. It's like being mad at a fucking snake for biting you. If you got a rattlesnake in your hand, you're like, this rattlesnake is the shit, and it bites you. You can't be mad at the motherfucker. You just have to right. go, shit, it's a snake. She, women wow. have to do certain things. They ha look at loser women. That analogy it, it, just... it is it, it is what it is, pumpkin. It, it, <laughs> any any woman, her initial thing if she doesn't have any guidance to think differently is that she has to get something out of her pussy, because right. because they haven't developed. This is this is why going back to that other caller, why they force you to marry them, because mm -hmm. it's like it's like um Dracula trying to trying to eat dinner with you. Real fast before 5 a.m. comes. You understand? Okay. That's a bitch. That's a bitch. Uh, uh, it's, she want to get married to. She want to get married uh, before <laughs> she turns. Before uh, she starts to melt. No, no. no uh, I'm just. I had enough. Uh, uh, it's it's, it's, it's coming up. You gotta understand that. That's what I want to get married. 
It's it's get, I got to get this motherfucker so that I have an excuse not to have to be bigger than my vagina. If you make her stretch out that 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 courtship, she's going to have to force herself to be bigger than her vagina. And some women don't know how to do that. Some women don't know how to be Look, tell a bitch, here's what you tell her. Look, look baby. Uh <laughs> look, I don't just want pussy. You know, um I don't want pussy. Just want it Unless that's all I don't all it says I, if, if, if I don't I, that's not all I want unless that's all you got. Do you mm. understand? You got to make yeah. her understand, right? Women have to understand that pussy is like it's the wheels on the car. You understand? Right. Like if you yeah. have a bit a Beamer and you have a Benz and you go out and you look at both of them nineteen for uh, uh, two thousand seven Benz two thousand seven Beamer you look at them both and 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 if the salesman comes up and goes hey how are you oh uh, listen I have a wonderful car here and you go well what's the what's some of the features of the car why should I buy it because it has wheels what nigga <laughs> that's what a pussy is you gotta it's let a bitch know that look I'm gonna tell you something I wanna fuck you. You stop, stop trying to hide that we want to fuck. That's the problem we're having, fellas. We want to fuck anyway. It's like drinking water when you're thirsty. Pussy, it's not as important as everyone makes it. You, you understand what I'm saying? And you, you, yeah. she clearly is not doing you a favor by fucking you. That is not a gift. You have, is, you have women go. I, 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 I let you eat my pussy. <laughs> what? You let me eat your pussy? What? I just performed that fucking surgery. Yeah, I just performed. Exactly. Is it my was neck, a favor to me? My neck is clamped up. My I, tongue is numb, oh. and you did me a favor. I fucking put my face in that disaster area <laughs> for a half hour and pretended that your asshole didn't stink, and all of a sudden you're a good gal for let me. Well, it's thank a good you, Huckleberry. Hey, thanks for calling, man. Thanks, Brian. We take another break. We'll be back. A lot of phone calls on the Black Phillip show. Nice inside joke here. Where's Dumb Kathleen? I think she ran away. She's all right. Where you from, Chicago? <laughs> Where's your gym? Where's your gym? <laughs> Fuck up. I really do think if this guy went somewhere else to meet women, he'd Where? Where? Yeah, Mars? Oh, well, I don't, you know, whatever he's going to, I know there are materialistic women. Like, if you go on the Upper West Side uh -huh. in bars where they would completely ignore you guys. It's gold digging crackheads. Yeah, yeah, there they just, definitely are, they just and they're not. They're dig not you for crackheads. An old they're pissy mattress. Drinking, oh, you awful. know, whatever Ivy League. They they want a specific type of man, which apparently this. Do you, guy do you hear what you're saying though? Like, do you, do you hear? It's like this is what's beautiful. It's like when when yeah, a woman. I when, wait a minute. When a woman God, talks, this what guy you? Wait a minute, should Kathleen. Go somewhere else but, to meet women. But do you I'm hear what saying. you just said? That these these girls are somewhere. Wanting to meet a specific type of guy. It's well, like they are. It's Why like is that's that? like you know what that's like. You know what that's like. It's like a, a, a duck hunting season, right? And the yeah, duck and the yeah. duck walks out of the course. water and goes, "Hey boys, <laughs> who's gonna shoot me?" Do you understand what I'm saying? It's yes. like, did, did yes. you hear your language when you say we go, women go out in this type of place? To meet a, a specific. Type of well, what yeah, specific is? Are you, yeah. bitch? What do? What specifics do you have <laughs> besides your pussy? I, I have another specific. I, I'm just saying that this exists, Patrice. It, I'm not, that's what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is the same with the dingy bitch on on Houston Street to the yeah. fucking stuck up Jew girl on 78th and Broadway. Exactly. They're the same bitch. They're out there trying to hit the lottery. They have. Women have no skills to get what they want, so they hope what they want just kind of walks in, and I have to audition. And and when you said, oh, those girls don't pay you no attention, wrong, Kathleen. They do pay you attention when you go in and you go, hi, and she goes, ugh. And you go, you know, it looks like your breath stink anyway, bitch. And she goes, what? And you go, I'm just kidding, walk away. And, she yeah, goes, and she'll exactly. chase after you and go, excuse me, what did, why did you say that? Well, because you're just an ass, and I, I have to go now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Women are so fucking dumb. It just, I, I'm trying to, like, keep them listening, but you just are so retarded. It makes me sick. You, you go, 
what what gives you the balls or the labia or whatever the fuck y'all got to sit and wait for Mr. Right? Like, I, what skills do you have to get Mr. Right? I Patricia. Besides if waiting, you're, if you're talking to me personally, I am not waiting for Mr. Right. I I don't know why you're. Uh, I'm talking to women. You are representing women, women right in, now oh, okay, in, general, in general, and and you're pretty much a part of in general. Um, I, d- I honestly don't think that, I don't know, the women I, m- the women that I'm friends with are not waiting for Mr. Right. So what are you waiting to do? Why, why does it have to <laughs> be old. anything what at are you all? Doing? What are you doing? Why, I, honest to God, Patrice, do you I like don't fucking worry Do you like it. fucking? Yeah, right, of course so you, I how do. You, where do you get your dick from? How do you meet your dick? Um... Usually the people I go out with are odd. Fuck, we're talking about fucking, not go out. Yeah, fuck, okay. Just fucking. How do you meet a guy and fuck him? Uh, the the guys I meet are like audience members, and I like the type of guy Jesus. that likes You me. like who I like? You like, you. I like that. Fuck your film dirty whore. You fuck, you fuck your audience? <laughs> you fuck groupies? You fuck wake, <laughs> wake them up first, then fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Specific type of men like me. Like she likes who she likes. Comedians don't generally she likes who like, likes her. So you get, you like get, me, yeah. But who, but so you, you actually fuck... The guy I, who comes you know, up to I'm you. not that promiscuous, and I don't. I'm pretty closed off. I'm emotionally unavailable, and I haven't been laid in quite a while. Why? So, I it's just you're not 42 worth it. years old. It's Patrick. not worth it. Your pussy, I'm the value of your 42. pussy is going down. I'm younger than you. Your fish. You need a lot more ice wrinkled. to keep that fish fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Your pussy gonna be like that shit in Seattle where they just toss it to a motherfucker. You, you, you have to stop your thinking. Yeah. Why don't you fuck? I, you know, I'll, I'm looking for a candidate now. I've to, been dating. To fuck? I, okay, I'll tell you what. I no. I mean, why? Just, Wait, you just you didn't even look out there and said no. Why? Why not no? I why no? no. <laughs> look at this well, kid. That look at that guy, kid. Look at that kid's triceps. He'll strong, fuck your no. brains out. He's I, he's looks great. He's yeah. a young guy. <laughs> why wouldn't you I pop don't him? No. Why wouldn't you pop him? And why do you think that a forty-eight-year-old like yourself has? <laughs> I'm getting, getting older, older by the minute. Has, has a choice. Twelve years older than my has has a choice. Time. You should take that kid and ram him. Why? I, for one, I don't think. You know, he. This is not the type of guy that's interested in me. Would you fuck a dude? He fuck you. You'd fuck me. Okay. I'm, <laughs> thank you for Can't the you. option. I'm, okay, I'm dating I'm a guy. You, why aren't you? Why wouldn't you just give guys some pussy if he wanted some? I'm dating a guy right now, okay. and it's an option. I might. I really might Jesus. fuck him. Do you yeah. hear the arrogance in your? It's, it's not. It, no, no. You he, might, and you. There's two he people might not, in this situation. He might not want to fuck me. I've I've gone out with him he once. Wants to fuck he's you. Of out course, of time. if he yeah. went out with G, he wants to. If you fuck say hello and he really? answers, that means he wants to <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Don't you understand? Yeah, that? but he's not like Patrice. You think all men are like you? They're not. They are exactly like me. If you boil all men down to the to what they call the rue, to the to the to the, to the, to the sticky horse shit that was that left. <laughs> he wants to it, get laid. Two things: right. eating and some pussy. Pussy yeah. and eating, and I don't know which but, order, but that's what we boil down to. And so innately, we just want to fuck you first because you don't have intangibles. Women don't have intangibles okay. until after we fuck. This guy took me out to dinner, and honest to God, he did not try to. Of nor course did, not. That's he's trying to nor bait you so that you fuck him. Nor did he want me to fuck him at that point. I'm Are not you, saying that he doesn't him? want to. Kathleen, did you ask him? No, Did you it say, just do was you kind fuck me? of understood. I no, I didn't. If you said, "Hey, look, no, let me I just didn't. suck it in the car for a few minutes," do you think you would say, "No, <laughs> let me just store it in my mouth"? I don't know. I I <laughs> honestly think that maybe you know he kind of wanted to wait. Maybe uh-huh. you know what? maybe he do you seen really truly else? fucking believe that? Yeah. No. Do you believe that? I don't know. There was it. No. That no is point. the reason. Let me tell. You, let me say something, ladies, and I'm gonna take some more calls in a second. Ladies, let me say something to you. We, you got to understand that we, this is why we don't get along. Because when we try to fuck you and you 
do what Kathleen's doing. Hey, he didn't want to fuck. No. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. He did not. It never came up that he was trying he to. He was afraid of scaring you away. Fucking course. Afraid of scaring you away. Do you understand what we're trying to say is that you don't get the real thing a ask, until after. Ask but anybody in any, is anybody in the studio that would not fuck Kathleen? They would. You anybody? Well, you know. No. This, this guy doesn't. Him? Eric? Eric would fuck you. Eric, would, Eric looks Eric like a fuck premature fuck fucking cover. Yeah. There's no way Eric wouldn't fuck you. Eric would fuck you and then cave your head in for making him feel bad about it. <laughs> you you got to yeah. understand why we don't like you innately. We don't like you because of what you put us through to get pussy. So when we finally get it, we Boy. resent you for what you put us through for this Is it this that much of a chore? Like, can't, d don't yes, you? Yes, you're, yes, it's that much of a chore because you're sitting here kind of mulling over. Like, you're like, he didn't want to. What girl says he didn't want to? You don't know uh, anything unless we fucking inform you of the fucking thing. You don't know whether we, I want to fuck you or not unless I say, hey, look, I want to fuck you. Half the time, you don't care. You're so caught up in your own okay, inner dialogue, you're not exactly, even concerned about that. This guy called me. It was, you, you want to go out to dinner. He had to get up early and he goes, he's go going, to Philadelphia. Do you want to go out to yeah. dinner so that I can fuck yeah. you later? Yeah, no, I honestly think that if it, it might have been uncomfortable. Would he, you have, he would have done it, would but you, he had to... Would you fuck him if he asked you to? Um, okay, I, yeah, enough. you know, I, yeah. You would maybe. fuck him if he said, hey, will you fuck me? What? Yeah. Can he possibly, just ask you like that? Can like he just say, I, Can I, fuck you? I don't know. He's. I don't know so him a, well enough. A, but yeah, maybe. Wh well, how do you get to? What's the? Is well enough? If I meet you today, right? Wait a minute. If I meet you on Monday, I want to make sure Kathleen, that Kathleen, I want Kathleen. To fuck if him. I meet you yeah. on Monday, right? Yeah. And we go all the way until like six months later on a following six months month six six months of Mondays, right? How are you knowing me more the first Monday than the six-month Monday that you know me well enough to fuck me? You think because cause you know okay, what well, my favorite color is now that it makes it better? Sometimes things come up. He seems like a great guy, and then he says something like, uh, well, I, I, what I really want is to get nude pictures taken of myself. I've been working out. Okay. And that, <laughs> that like... <laughs> Fine, that's okay, but I find it aesthetically unpleasant. I don't so, want to fuck him after he says that. What? But who? Yeah. But what the fuck? I've been working out, and you're like, yeah, great. You All know? right. And I like to get He wants like to send you naked pictures some, of him. He'd like to get professional nude pictures of himself <laughs> taken. So you think he's an ass and you don't want to fuck him? <laughs> I I think he's a bit of a pussy. It's a little too gay for it's me. It's some now. sissy shit. It's, yeah. It, uh, yeah. yeah, and th this is the guy. All right, well, you got to let us know these fucking things. Yeah. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up, but this, <laughs> is, <laughs> this is a research. He's a, fraud. <laughs> he's a fucking fag. Yeah. yeah All right, fair enough. <laughs> this right, guy so much does for that. pharmaceutical <laughs> research. He's in good shape. You know, I go Jesus. out to dinner. Everything's fine. And then he says that to me on the phone. What, what tipped like, you off when you met him in the store and he was licking the Calvin Klein box? <laughs> he, he, he was an audience guy, just, you know, nice guy. But at what that you have a thing, pink, a pink cock ring? <laughs> yeah, we're take that is call. a little gay. We're going to get yeah. back to you Waxing and your fucking your, your craziness. Keith in Ohio, sir. Sorry to keep you on hold so long. Keith. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, dude. Go ahead, man. Uh, yeah, uh, try to keep the backstory short. Um, been with my wife 17 years. Uh, okay. Over the years, there's been over 30 affairs. Uh, I've been angry Good about boy. it. Wait, 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 wait. 30, you, you've, you've fucked over 30 times or she cheated on you over 30 times? She's, I've, I've never cheated on her. She's had, uh, <sighs> at least 30 affairs that I'm aware of. She's, she's uh, fucked 30 wow. different, uh, that you're aware of. What, yeah. wait, 17 years. Wait a minute. Wait the f wait a minute, dude. Wait a second. There, there is more. I, I know, but hold up. Here's sure. what's bothering me is the is the original statement where you said I've been with my wife. You you're not saying You've you been used with to be with this bitch. You still you're, with you're her. still with her. Oh yeah, we're coming up on our 17 year anniversary. We got two kids. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what they do. Oh. All right, go finish, man. Go ahead. Okay, uh, anyways, about six months ago, she was uh, diagnosed as bipolar, and she's suffering from clinical depression. 
And one of the big things is uncontrollable, you know, sexual urges. She gets, you know, a little bit of booze in her, and she'll pretty much sleep with anybody. Well, anyway, I mean, that on medication, she is the woman I fell in love with. I still love her dearly. Uh, the problem is, emotionally, I broke completely. And I've been seeing her shrink, trying to work through it. Uh, emotionally, I transcended anger. Where you said that angry place you go to, mm -hmm. I transcended that. I've become emotionally cruel and vindictive. Right. I'm Ooh. trying to now, stop. I've, that... I've beat her to death emotionally, right. and I truly want to stop because she doesn't. You know what you're doing? You know what you're doing? You're doing what women do That's when right. they want to leave you, okay? What you're doing yeah. is you're you're trying to give her a reason. The, 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 the reason. Right. You're trying to make her so fucked up that it won't make you feel guilty when you walk out on her. So you're trying yeah. to be, it's that old thing of going, you know, when you want to break up with a girl and you just yeah. say, uh, she goes, hi, and you go, fuck you, you stinky breath bitch. And she goes, what's that all about? You want to leave me, don't you? You want to go, don't you? You want to leave. You, you want to be able to tell people that she left you. But in your balls, tell the truth, Keith, in your balls, you want to leave this bitch, don't you? I came, I'll be 100% honest, I was one foot out the door. No, no, no. In your gut. Fuck, fuck the actual physical, I'm going to do it. But right now, are you, uh, seriously, are you finished with her? Uh, no. No, actually, the, we, get, we get along beautifully. We always have. We finish each other's sentences. All that bullshit. Really? We you finish each other's sentences? Case. Like, you'll say, I want to, and she'll say, suck another man's cock? <laughs> <laughs> you dope. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, my wife's a horror in bed, unfortunately, not with just me, but she, I mean, she, you know, she'll take it up, yeah, she'll swallow, I mean, uh, the no. sex is great. Yeah, after 17 years, a redeeming I point. bang my wife three or four times. Well, you know what? Now, I'm, she's I'm an like, alcoholic, is that what you no, just... Oh. No, it, it wasn't even, all she had to have was just a little booze, a little weed, and... Well, you, excuse well, you know what, dude? This, her, that was it. I mean, literally, it trips a switch in her. It was like she was on her... You sound, very, like, you sound like you like her, though. Like, you sound... See, loving her is not the problem. It's, just, it's liking them that's the problem. You sound like yeah. you generally like her, and you guys have some type of... Uh, I, I guess I'll be cliche. Some You're, you're some type of... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, soulmates mm -hmm. or some shit. But... That's the, the word I use, the soulmates. Your soulmates. I you really like her. I'm you, a soulmate. You know, and you're, I got an idea. Why don't you swing? Uh, she's so already swinging, so you might as well, you know. Yeah, do you yeah, no, do you sleep with other two people, and a half too? Years no. ago, she stopped. Huh? I mean, that was it. Cold turkey, when she saw the last time when I pretty much snapped and almost left her, she stopped. She's and not sucking I different do. dicks cold turkey. Well, yeah, did, you, did you put your foot down after cocks 19 and 20 and then soften up a bit? Hey, I think I think that's what she that's the nickname she has for her 30 dicks is cold turkey. Ooh, that's my 31st cold turkey uh, neck. Listen. You waited around. She got bored of fucking other Keith, guys. I want to be honest with you. You might actually have a winner. I think you're caught in a between being traditional and living kind of this life that Sweet. we all want to live. Is that yeah. I don't? What's her viewpoint on you getting strange pussy? Uh, she actually she claims that she'd like to find a bi chick that uh, you know. Would oh, dude, you, you listen, man. There you got a go. winner. You're a traditional guy, and not, this is I'm, you kind of. And no, this is not. I'm not. No offense. You're kind of being what the woman would be, kind of in this situation mm -hmm. where you're a little like, this is not right and this is weird. But you might have the. You might like unmistakably be dropped into every, every guy's dream, which to actually is to have a woman who's willing to mm -hmm. have you get some different pussy. See, you're on this possession thing. You're a little bit. Like I said, you're in love like a girl is in love. You can't be. You can't you don't possess her body, dude. Like she's still the mother of your children. You still love her. Y'all you gotta have her mind be with you. It's possible she could just be a nympho. You should take advantage of that shit, dude. And go out and get some side pussy. But here's the problem, Dante. I hear what he's saying. His side his, this lady is a better fuck than he, any bitch starting, he can fucking go find. Yeah. This guy he sounds like he doesn't know that. He hasn't, he, he hasn't cheated on her in 17 like years. He doesn't know what's out there. Hey, dude, are you a cuckold? He sounds like a cuckold, like one yeah. of those guys that secretly gets off on his wife fucking other men. There's a oh. silent humiliation in that because why else would you put up with 30 different yeah. guys? That's Do you ever make her tell you details about what happened? Uh, no, I, it, it pisses me off to no end, and 
I, the problem is I come from a broken home. My mom and dad split up when I was three. Uh, I was yeah, but that is not. Married for life. I didn't want to do that. I, I oh, so he got his own. He got, his, he got his own thing. When I settled for my wife, and I, I dropped the other two, stuck with her, because I really felt something for her, and unfortunately... You know, thanks to bipolar, it's you know it beat the hell out of us emotionally. If, if she's had thirty thirty <laughs> affairs, it's her nature to sleep with other people, and all you doing is 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 caging her up. That's whether she went yeah. cold turkey or not. She she want to fuck somebody else. Yeah, That's you, the bottom you're line. You're trying to tell a pigeon not to fly, so you might yeah. as well you might as well just love her for what she is, dude. What with the animal that she is. Try to figure out. You have to rationalize how to how to love her for the animal she is, and 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 alleviate the body from the situation. Yeah. It's almost like if she if she had a, a if she was retarded and you know she, yeah. she or she was deaf. You know you would have to relate to her with a deaf wife. You have to figure out how right. to have a deaf wife. You have to figure yeah. out how to have a, a hoe as a, as a wife. My girl's a hoe, and it took me a minute to learn how to have a hoe as the person you love. It's it's a very it's a, it's easy to do. Just accept her for what she is, dude. And 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 you know it is what it is. All right, thanks a lot, uh, Keith. Keith. Whatever fuck no. Keith is. It? Okay, see you later, Keith. All right, we're going to uh, Mr. Frank in the city, nigga. Frank. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, uh, the Patrice, I'm 41. Never had a girlfriend. Never been in a relationship. Faggot. I'm a I'm a I'm only kidding. I'm only fucking with you, man. Go ahead, man. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead. We'll figure that out quick. Fag. <laughs> go ahead, man. Fucking go ahead, man. Uh, just I'm tired of paying for pussy. I'm a big guy like you. I want to know how did you get your girl? How can you be a big guy and get a good looking girl who's gonna fuck you good without paying for it? I'm tired of paying for the shit. Well, I'll, I'll add, he's funny. Believe me, that helps. Yeah. Being funny. Yeah. Real, if you make a chick laugh, it, it really overcompensates for a lot but of physical are, messes. The confidence. I, I, yeah, but you know what, Jimmy? I, I, none I, of my I, girls ever think I'm funny. No women ever no, love but they, me. But it's they the know you are. Though. Even though they, they might not laugh at you, they still recognize how other men and how other people react to you. Right. So there's a respect in that, and the confidence all comes from being funny and having well, that, he, that ability. You might not be able to be. I well, say this. It's the confidence. Women are attracted to confidence. Confidence is power. So whatever you feel your your limitation are, whatever you think you're down, come fix it. Do something to well, fix it. I see. I, that's the shit you, we talk about. I don't. I I don't agree with that. I I think it's like you look at a motherfucker. Like I said, missing a foot can get a bitch. No, I'm not saying. Now, I'm not. Hold saying, up, Frank. Let me let me hold up. Let me say I'm this, listening. Frank. I'm listening. Here's here's what. You, first of all, what you're doing is okay. It sounds like he wants. Hotter women, like mm. he probably can get a big fat bitch, but he doesn't like big fat bitches. Mm. Okay, you're right. So you're right. here's how you usually usually okay. We have a system. Men have a system of of going. Yo, what do you what do you give her on a scale of one to ten? We in the ten we we'll go. Uh, she's a six. Now a six is average, but a six is too close to a ten. Mm. It's too it's too close to a ten. So you go. Oh, she's hot. She's an eight. She's a this. <laughs> And she's ugly. She's a one. Okay. Mm. Now we sit around and devise devise a plan, right? And you yeah. have to try this out. Devise a plan. Instead of saying, okay, she's hot from one to ten, you have to say she's hot one from to one to thirty. Do you understand? And now, <laughs> and you right. take one to thirty and you divide that into groups of ten, and they consist of ugly, ugly bitches, average, average eyed looking bitches. And fine, fine bitches, ass. okay? So 1 to 10 is ugly. 10 to 11 is I. Right. I mean, 10 to uh, 20 is I. Right. 20 to 30 is fine, mm -hmm. okay? And what you do, why you, why this system works is if when you're walking up a sh up the street, okay, and you see a girl that you used to go, oh, she's a, she's hot, dude. She's a, mm -hmm. a 7. What this system will do is because to approach a woman in the street, you have to have the right amount of arrogance and the right amount of humility. You can't come up to a girl and go, What's up there, sugar clit? And she'll go, What? Get out of my fucking face. And you can't go, Hi, I was looking at you and from I all across the street, and I thought that you were beautiful. You, she'll go, This pussy motherfucker. All right, you got to explain, uh, like, uh, Yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Right. So basically, what this, this plan does is devise a way to give you the right amount of confidence 
to say the right thing to the bitch, okay? So let's say Angelina Jolie, like a lot of guys think she's hot. I say Angelina Jolie is a fine-ass, fine eye-looking bitch. She's a 20. She's yeah, as high of an eye-looking bitch as you can possibly get. You understand what I'm saying? So when you right. approach her in the street, you're going to approach her like, oh, shit, she's all right. And so you're going to say something that's just right for an eye looking bitch. Mm. You'll go, hey, sweetie, you know what? You got still those lips. I ain't going to say, I'm a, you know, I like for you to suck my dick, but I'm going to say they're cute anyway, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And she might go, what? But you'll say the proper thing because you'll have the proper arrogance and the proper, you'll, you know what you'll be? You'll be righteous. You won't be trying. She'll feel your energy. She'll feel like you'll walk away from her. And in in if, if she says, fuck you, you won't have to go, well, fuck you, bitch. Because a lot of times, guys come up to women and they don't even believe that they can say something to a girl that she might like them. So she'll walk up to them or a guy will walk up to her and go, hey, it's, it's that fear, it's the, it's the self-sabotage. She'll go, he'll go, hey, what's up, honey? Or like the whole, the cliche oh, construction bitch. worker thing. Yeah. Hey, yeah. what's up, toots? And she knows that the bitch ain't going to go, Hi, right. thank you for calling me Toots. Yeah. He knows she's going to go, ugh. That's more of a subtle assault than there's a real come yeah. on. Right, right, it's, right, a, it's, right, a, it's, right. it's the control the the fucking pain that could happen. It's right. contemptuous loss. E exactly. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, let me ask you something, though. Go ahead. Because if, going back to what Jimmy was saying, kind of what you've been saying, I can talk to girls. I can make them laugh. I'm good at laying down rap. It's just when it comes down to... You know, making that pitch to get in there, I lose all confidence because all I can think is she's like, you fat bastard, I'm not fucking you. How fat you know, are you? I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably as big as Patrice. So you're about, what, 6'4", 3' something? Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm 5'10", and as fat as you. Oh, oh okay. Jesus, man. Well, that's tough because, you know, you're a little that's fat dude, got it. which is a yeah. different thing, he, he, but you can a, still do it, of, dude. It's he, a level of confidence, yeah, and is. even if, there's a level of confidence that you, even if you say 1 to 30, there's you, what you're still building, it still comes down to you accepting that there's a level of confidence that you have with because you're not rating her as high as you would normally rate her. So if you're if you don't believe in the in the in the rating plan, it's not going to work any more than if you don't believe in yourself. It's still a, a matter of confidence. You, right, it's you like, it's like a, losing weight. It's like going to a gym, right? You, and getting in supreme shape, but you're still a fat guy in your head, right? So your game is like wow, he's a handsome like a guy, guy, but he yeah, stinks. But yeah, Patrice, come on, that's too fat. He has to lose weight. Well, as far mean, as yeah. health, but not for pussy. Trust me, you don't have yeah. to lose weight to get pussy. Maybe for you. But you're six foot five. He's five ten. That doesn't matter. But do you see what he, he's living with? Is that that, that voice your, in, that that's you're, saying, what you're saying? That's the voice in his head that you yeah, have to right. eliminate. Because look, I'm gonna tell you something about Kathleen. If she's, it were a woman, she's that and, that and, <laughs> and, and, and never be afraid to bring a bitch's self esteem down and match yours, nigga. Never. Say, yeah. you walk up to her and say something so outlandishly like, you know, you are beautiful except for your nostrils. They're funny looking. What? what? Mm. <laughs> and then, you, well, what about all she's going to say is, you fat this, fat that. You've heard, you've heard that many a times. Nigga, you probably... No, no, you, I'm, I'm sorry. You probably I, can I'm eat not... pussy. Are you a good pussy eater? Oh, I, I'm the pro. Nigga, listen, man. You, you, you okay, don't have to have a that. fucking problem. I'm telling you. You do not act like they're doing you a favor, dude. That's it. Don't act like they're doing you a fucking favor. He sound like Trust he could close me. the deal. Hell if, yeah. he's, if he's if he's already confident, he can he could close the deal. If you can get him to laugh and you can no, you can talk to him, you can close the deal. A, a All right, what's the a final advice you got to give to him, Kathleen? Besides fucking lose weight, you short fat bastard. <laughs> no, I mean, how would he fuck you? Come on. How would this guy I'm fuck sorry. you? You're at, okay, you're 5'10", and how much do you weigh? <laughs> he told you, bitch. See, <laughs> Kathleen, <laughs> Kathleen's like a dude. Kathleen's yeah, like, I ain't giving this fat motherfucker no pussy. <laughs> Fuck that. But you got to understand, Kathleen is, you got to, she is, she's cute enough. I bet you in her heyday, she was dynamic. But now, look, man, look, she's like. Yeah, like I, I you think I would. Should fuck a fat guy. Um, no, I'm not saying. I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen. Kathleen's like you, you ever you ever had an old Air Force One? You clean it up? No, I mean listen. <laughs> listen, this this isn't about me. This 
poor guy. This guy <laughs> wants to have a you relationship. You just called him a short, fat motherfucker. Yeah, now he's a poor guy. I can't see him. Dude, he do you hear him? Now, okay. Way. I'm glad you're talking no, like no, this. No, I, I no, I mean no offense, Now, Pat, listen. No, I know. You do mean offense. Yes, he does, nigga. Listen, listen. What? What do you, when she's talking, right, in your gut, your, no, this your, is, he's a minute. nice guy, I want to see him get in into your a gut. relationship. In your gut, in your gut. He doesn't want to get fucked. Hold on a second, no, hold, he wants hold, to hold, get hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. In your gut, dude, when you hear her talk, when you hear that voice in your head, that's not, it's in your own head, and now she's actually being that voice over the, over the radio, what's your gut, what's, what do you want to say to that when you hear that voice? I want to say my dick's doing a turtle head from that voice. What is that? Oh, going in? Yes. You know yeah, what? Yeah. Fucking with yourself now, now, let me ask you this. When you hear, hear that voice in your head, and when you hear that voice, and not, the, and when, I'm not saying how, like, kind of her voice is. I'm saying the, oh, okay. the, what she's saying to you when you hear those words. What fucking, what's it, the it, immediate it, thing? What's am the, I offending you? What, what, what goes through your head? What goes through your gut that you really want to say? Not to her in general, not to Kathleen in general, but to, to that voice that makes you think you got to buy a pussy. God damn, that's a good question. I mean, I, number one, I know you're not offending me, Kathleen. If I was offended, I wouldn't have called. But, God, that's a good fucking question. How I mean, about, I, I, are, are you thinking you're not good enough? You yeah, you're right, Dante. I guess I am. But then, you know what, though, Kathleen? Look, there's a reality to what she's saying. I, if you're a little short fat, so confidence is going to help you on a certain level. But if you're if you're shooting out of your league, you're going to most times get shot down. Like I I know how I look at chicks, and I don't care how confident a fat chick is or how interesting she is. <laughs> she's exactly. a fat so with a great personality, <laughs> and I have no sexual desire. But that's for exactly. But but no, that's you know what? This is an dude, intelligent no, guy. That's a, that's he a, sounds a, reflective. He's he's got a lot going for him. I'm just saying. And you got to understand the nature of a woman. They will now now Go with, now she's different. Kathleen is different. Yeah. But most women will fucking genuinely be attracted. To something other than yeah. like a fucking five ten feet three hundred pound bitch, yeah. she's in deep shit. Yeah. You understand? She's a fetish. Unless you're into fetishes, but a fat guy is never a fetish to a woman. Yeah. She's like, I love you. She the women love us for who we are, dude. And you have to just be. You have to like I say, my self esteem is so low that it's high. You have to fucking bring everybody down. With you, not by saying <laughs> hey, not by saying hey, you're you're no, a fucked up motherfucker, ruin. you're a this, this and that. This don't listen nice to her. Guy. Don't this listen. Nice Do you guy. hear this? Don't. Nice guys finish how, nigga? Forty one yes. without a girlfriend. You right. got, trust 41 me. Forty one on a Saturday night listening to your ass. Exactly, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> trust me. I was the fat guy who wrote poems. I said you're the greatest. Oof. Hey, you. Hey, you want to walk to the store with me? I buy you. I was that guy. Because I thought I had to be until I said the word bitch, which freed me. Once I started saying Laura to say bitch, it freed me up because I say it righteously. Motherfuckers wonder how does Patrice call a girl bitch all the time and, and they never smack him? It's because I used to be the guy that goes, well, shut up, b b bitch. Smack. And she'll go, whack. Mm -hmm. I'm getting my brother to fuck you up. Wait a minute. And then I said, bitch, fuck, shut the fuck up, bitch. And she was, why I'll get my brother. Shut get up. your brother and you still a bitch, ho. <laughs> it's 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 what I want it to be. You know, here, like you know how like you have a, a you have a fat girl who lose weight, but she still has fat girl mentality. Right. She's still a loser. Right. You don't get that with a guy. Mm -mm. But guy loses weight. He's no longer a fat guy. If he ain't a fat guy, he's a cocky son of a bitch <laughs> trying to, and he and he's exercising his newfound power to get bitches. That's the bottom line. All so right. you got to do what you got to do to make you feel, make you feel confident. All right, Frank, man. Do, Good do, luck, dude. Do you have Good any luck to you, poems Frank. that you used right. to write? Take care. All right, fellas. Take it easy. All right, we're going to take a break, but we're going to come back to, um, we're going to talk to um, John in Cincinnati after we come back from a break, okay? All right. Women's power is in your fear of whatever they're going to do. Black Phillip. Fat-tongued mongoloid. I told my girl she's the fourth most important thing in my life. So sensitive. It was me, my career, my Family. mother, and then her. Ooh, that silk. She only thinks she knows shit because I tell her oh, shit. Wow. Keeping your pimp strong. 
I think my girl in my life is worth five bitches now. you do that? See, this is what the fuck I'm saying. Never mind. Just fucking never mind. Just lay there watching me jerk off. You're, you're fucking useless. God, you can't fuck. Thank you, sweetie, for sitting on my face. Thanks, but not you can't lick my nipples. So basically, see, this is why I'm saying I, I want another girl. I want another girl in this so she can lick my nipples. You can't sit on my face and lick my nipple at the same time. That's why I'm trying to do a threesome. But I'll don't face you, yoga. Don't you see what I'm trying to fucking do? Don't you see? I'll stretch out and take I just, yoga. I just need another bitch to lick my nipple. That's it. Jesus. That's how you introduce a threesome. <laughs> Make a bitch do two things she can't do. Baby, baby, kiss me and lick my asshole. You can't? What do you mean you can't kiss me and lick my asshole? You know what? This ain't going to work out. I, I, you don't want to do a threesome. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Listen, baby, jerk me off and fuck me. What? <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to the Black Phillips Show with Patrice O'Neal. <laughs> Black fucking Philip. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh shit. And uh Mr. Opie, thank you so much for being so into the show that you're just having a party on Wednesday. <laughs> it, it's the most annoying thing I've ever fucking seen. Why don't you just fall asleep? I like to be in here in the th- in the fucking chair one day and Opie's like, hey, and, and I just uh, I just get on the table and actually put all the newspapers in a pillow and fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> For once, I don't have to worry about anything. So I'm, I'm just like <laughs> hanging out. Monk, monkeys and cigars. And like, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I'm just entertaining I'm, the pal walkers out there, man. Putting beer bottles. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ass. Are right, we gonna go to another call, man? Who the right. fuck are we? Who are you talking to, this motherfucker? I promise somebody. Oh, John from Cincinnati. That nigga. John, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, Patrice? Greetings from one soldier to another good soldier. God damn it. We opening up uh, Pimps R Us. Pimps are uh, Pimpco. Uh, Dante is union uh, chief, <laughs> it's and I uh, I have I hand out the cards, and uh, Kathleen stands outside with that whiny voice and fucking <laughs> says, "This is I wrong to have pimps." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Edward G. Robinson voice with titties. I'm not fucking a fat guy, see? I'm not 39. Eat my pussy. See? I I like that fat guy. He had that fat guy wisdom. But you wouldn't fuck him. him. Exactly. No, he's too fat. Fuck off. I'm telling you. I I would, but his belly button. Your belly button smells like fish cake. <laughs> you're out. Would you, you, you don't get no pussy looking like that, girl. see? You're not having much of grapefruit in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Fat boy. <laughs> 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 Sorry, John. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead, dude. Uh, hey, it's all right, dude. All right, here's the situation. All right, I've been dating this girl for uh, about a year. Uh, I dated her before I broke up with her, got back together with her. All right, man. Like, and I, I bring I bring the pan pan hard, but I, I I fuck this girl real hard. Like, you know, I do everything I can. I hit it like I, I really want it. I bring the wood. Okay. I'll make this girl bust probably like two or three times. Okay. But literally, I have stamina that you know I need I need a girl to fucking ride it out with me. Okay. But like about halfway through, she says she wants to quit and she doesn't want to like finish me off. My question is: Is this some kind of like psychological thing where she's saying, you know what? I have control over you that, you know, I control how, you know, what we do sexually. No, because you're fucking, it sounds like you're fucking the way you want to fuck. You understand? Yeah. But what it, what it sounds like is that it's two things. Either you're not as fantastic as you think you are, maybe your yes. dick is too big, yeah. or maybe, you know, she or she's selfish. 
But it doesn't sound like she's selfish because she she's you're trying fucking to ride with you. You're fucking her the way you want. So you might have to really, you're not giving her, you might not be giving her what she really wants. Like the way she's getting off, it may not be how she wants to get off. Because usually when you get a woman off the way she likes, the competitive nature in a woman, she wants to get you off back. She wants to make sure you're happy. So basically, she's letting you pump away until she can't. You, you know, no and she can't take it no more. So she's had enough of it. Yeah. She, you, you might want to... Can I ask you, how... Do you have an exceptionally large penis? Ugh. Well, You have yeah, a big I mean, dick? Not... <laughs> Hold on. Could you ask that in a less sexy way? <laughs> Excuse me. Is that baby wrecking appendage on the end of you bigger than normal? Man, man how big your helmet, see? <laughs> Yeah, I was. <laughs> well, here's the, here's the thing. I'm as big as I'm not as big as streets. I'm six five, but I'm like two thirty. Oh, you're in shape. Uh, okay. Mil- yeah, I'm Slim. a military dude. But you know what? I, I I wouldn't say that I have. I mean, exceptionally large, but yeah. And she's not a she's not a small girl. I mean, but still. Basically, what she's complaining at is that she hurts after a while. She but gets sore. Yeah, oh, okay. she's, 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 your dick is too big. You're, 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 you're ramming her like a fucking animal. Just here's what you do. One good night. Just eat a twat, right, until... Yeah, no, Go ahead. I did that, though. I did that. See, this is what happened. I ate her pussy like an animal, like perfect. Okay. Got her off two or three times. And Patrice, like you are saying the last time, the competitive shit, she did come back and, and gave me the best blowjob I've ever had in my life. Okay. But still, like, I had sex... Uh, I'm not going to brag, but I had sex last night. And what happened was, you know, we're halfway into it. She, she comes, you know, two or three times. And just the best experience of her life, she tells me. But then, you know, right when I'm about to hit, she fucking pulls away and says, you know what, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm, I, I can't do this anymore. And I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what the fuck is going that, on. That, that could be two things. That could be two it, things. No. One, one thing, she, I, I know chicks that can only come once and they're finished. Just My so dude. spent afterwards. It could be that. Um, or it could be maybe I don't know maybe she's not lubed up enough. Just try the eros. Yeah. The eros is yeah, the best. Yeah, she gets dried up. Uh, no, nah, I mean kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah kind of is dried yeah. up. Yeah, go ahead and go get some eros, man. And listen, stop ramming her. And if you can't stop ramming when she comes, just do this. You gotta learn how to explore yourself sexually, right. maybe a little. How old man, is he? How, how yeah, old are you? How old are you, dude? Uh, I'm 24. Oh, oh he's, he's a, a he's, he's an animal. Yeah, yeah, a, dude, slow down. Guy, and, and, and you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> it, it, I'm, you're not gonna understand that until your physic, until God makes you slow down. My yeah. dick, it, it it's like it, it gets hard, but there's soft spots in it now. It <laughs> <laughs> like it's fully erect, but it feels like I'm like, is there a uh, really artery in my dick? Sleep. I need a bypass in my dick. He's got a sleepy dick. <laughs> See, you're just a young animal, dude. You're, you're, you're ra- we all like that. So it's really you, gotta, you get older, you learn you, to put three yeah. hours of fucking in 45 minutes. Yeah, you're fucking. You, you, you know what it feels like? like it. It's yeah, it's hard. Oh, it's it's yeah. really Look at dude, Kathleen's getting moist. It's re- like and now. <laughs> She, she's like, oh, six foot five, two thirty. Man, hit it in the asshole. Man, fuck me, tell you can't. Fuck say my it. cigar burns, see? Man, the thing is, he's wearing this girl out, like. Hey, wow. man, well, look, and she came Dude, twice. How old's your girl? And then the third. She, she's the same age as me, man. She's twenty four. Ah, you gotta get here's, a hold of Now here's the difference. She, she is not gonna be into the fucking marathon that you're into. But here's what you should do on the sneak, on the low. Go, go get an old, old bitch. <laughs> and when I say old, old to you is 35. Go get you yeah, a, I, a, I, a, a, a I fucking 35 year old <laughs> and fuck her <laughs> old brains out. And she will not chill. She probably had her down. tubes tied. Right. She probably, her uterus probably you a little get bit. It so you know, she'll say, wait a minute, baby, out. let me just ice it down and we can start up again. Trust me. I have a I know a manic to... This is like very physiological, but just... The the third time you do it on the just put the penis like right on the outside until she begs for it and then ram her. Ooh, yeah. that's dirty little bitch. Yeah, like just <laughs> on the outside until <laughs> she gets. And what, all the, and what is that? And what does that do, pumpkin? 
That'll get make her, again. yeah, Craving? make her wet. Yeah, because yeah. she's she's tired. She's worn out yeah, after the a... third time. You've got to put a little more into it. Mm. Like just on the outside. <laughs> she's getting more attractive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing later, <laughs> Oh, she's getting yeah, hot. Just on the Hi, outside, dude. like against, hey. you know. <laughs> Thanks for calling, sweetie. Um, but, yeah, you know what it is? You don't need no advice, man. You're just a young soldier <laughs> who just wants you. to pump away. And and trust me, man, you'll change about six more years. You'll understand what we're saying. But just lay off her just a little bit. Just give a, you know what you do? Get the Jerk arrow. off, man. Beat your dick before you fuck her. And get a little bit of that fucking evil out, man. You're, a, you're, you're full of testosterone, nigga. Join the UFC. No, this should, this should not go Punch a nigga in the face and then fuck your bitch. Go, go fight, then fuck. <laughs> fight fucking food. Beat it with a golf shoe. <laughs> yeah. You need the three Fs. <laughs> Let me just say this, man. I'm in, I'm in the U.S. military, and you know what, man? This is the best fucking show I've heard on XM202 besides ONA. I hope they fucking keep you on forever, man. Oh, well, fucking, fucking thank, thank you very, very much, much dude. All right, we're going to... Uh, y'all have a good night. Thank good you, night, man. You Take too. care good yourself, night. man. Thank you. Hey, we're going to Anthony in New York. Anthony? What's going on, Patrice? How you feeling, man? I'm all right. I just got a question for you. Uh, I've been going out... Well, allegedly going out with this girl for like a year, right? Allegedly. Uh, <laughs> God, he got Check a record. For fucking money. <laughs> she what, say that again? The only way she wants to have sex is for money. Well, I oh, that sounds like that would Brazil. Be, uh, I've yeah. done that before too. <laughs> yes. I mean, Ooh. I'm not not to be an asshole, dude. Is she a fucking hooker? Nah, dude. She not that I know. Her. How do you define hooker? <laughs> hey, hey, Anthony, listen, I, I don't want you to fucking get frustrated, but you may be delusional, man. If any chick that only has sex, okay, wait, wait a minute. Let's be Explain fair. What let's is. be fair. Is she saying, listen? Let's cut out all the stuff that you would have to do with another bitch, like dinner, a movie. Give me the no, money I you would. Do that shit too. No, no, so you no. got to date gonna the bitch. Go... Okay, you take her out to dinner and then you have to give her money. Yeah, for uh, yeah. Oh no. Well, you know what you should that, start that to do. That is a, a problem. Like she's like, oh, I need a hundred bucks, you know, and then we'll go fuck after that. Is she jealous? Ooh. I couldn't tell. I doubt. Here's it. what you do, dude. He said, Get, I doubt ready? it. Ready? This is home. very simple, man. Get other bitches. Yeah. Get another bitch, yeah. but you I'm keep ugly, her. Man. But you keep you what? Oh, I'm o- ugly. Fuck that uh, nigga. Why do you fuck think you're ugly? That. You're not, no. Well, let's let's. I don't know. What do you look like? Is he ugly? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's undercharging you. You fucking <laughs> genetic disaster. <laughs> Annoying, man. Will you, don't make this nigga feel bad. He's already <laughs> paying his girlfriend. See, and he thinks. And the rent. Damn, th- so you mean to tell me when I was going to Brazil that they were really my girlfriends? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, I love my girlfriends. <laughs> and I cheated on my girl every day there. I, f- <laughs> <laughs> I was not faithful to any of my women when I was in Brazil. Nigga, if you're going to do that, you fucking, you know what you make her do? You make her say she's a prostitute so she can let you off the emotional hook. Do you understand? Oh, all right. Yeah, make, make her say, look, baby, look, and if she goes, I'm not no prostitute. Well, bitch, let's go yes, look at the, the, definition, the definition of look it prostitute. Up. I That's bet right. you it's as short as this. Women who get paid to fuck. Mm. Eh, she is a whore. Yeah. And you force her to either be your woman or be a whore. And if she's going to be a whore, treat her accordingly. Mm-hmm. Tell her to get the fuck out after you come. You understand what I'm saying? You don't take a whore right. to, to the movies, B. Yeah, fuck. Well, That's you right. can. <laughs> well, you can. If she sucks your dick. In the theater. All right. All right, thanks a lot, man. Anthony. See you later, Bye, ugly. we <laughs> 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 got Mike in Dallas, man. What up, BP? How you doing? I'm doing good. Black Phillip. BP, I like that. <laughs> Black Phillip. <laughs> I am not Black Phillip. It's called the Black Phillip Show with Patrice O'Neal. What's happening, Black Phillip? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nigga Ryan soon. What's up, nigga Joe? What? Black Phillip? Well, you know what it's like? It's like Darius Rucker is not Hootie. Darius Rucker from Hootie yeah, and the Blow. Oh, I didn't know that. Darius Rucker is not Hootie. Yeah. But anyway, I'm, go ahead, man. What what you got? All right, listen. I've been with this chick for about eight years. Uh, she had a hysterectomy and. Uh, Quit working and became a grandma to take care of her daughter's kid. So basically, she kind of using me, friends and stuff. And I'm trying to dump her, but lately, the sexual tension between me and her daughter has just been insane. That's hot. Ooh. How old is her daughter? And 
20. Mm. And how old are you? 40. Mm. And how old is the grandmother with her innards ripped out? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's his, the grandmother's her, his girl. No, I know. I'm yeah. saying how old is she? She's 40. Okay. Oh, my uh, God. She don't fuck no more. Her daughter knows that she don't fuck no more. Oh, I'm pretty man. much bringing all the income in. Her daughter drops these hints all the time. I don't know if I'm losing my mind and just fucking go for it and blow the whole thing up. What's you know, a, what's a hint to? What's a hint she dropped? What's a hint? Uh, she went two bathrooms, right? Mm. She leaves her panties <laughs> in my bathroom. <laughs> Are they crunchy? <laughs> and and wait, <laughs> and let's and wait. Let us get into your filth, though. Yeah. Do you d tell the truth, Mike? Do, yeah. you, do you do you do you do you fight with all your powers not to sniff them? Pray. I I don't know if I'm just losing my mind. I don't know. You sniff I them. I fucking. It's I'm just look, ancient. Mike. Listen. First of all, listen. Listen to this. Listen. Li f destroy that inner mind that's going on now. It is what it is. You understand what I'm saying? Don't. This right. this is one thing you gotta learn, man. From from we talk all the time is that whatever feeling you have, don't fight it. You 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 fucking you rationalize it. It's a feeling. You're you're losing. You don't want to get to that point where where it gets so out of control. You do something dumb. Now, if you are in a zone where it's so hot, I'm gonna tell you what you do. I'm gonna tell you what you fucking do. You release that energy onto your fucking your your this late the fucking grandmother or whatever yeah. that he's calling his woman the grandmother. Right. Here's what you do: you say, "Look, um, I think because you want to get out the shit anyway, right. so you just right. go up to her and you go, look, um, there's a problem. I have to get out of this. I'm gonna tell you why. She's gonna go, why? Because I want to fuck your daughter, <laughs> and and she will give you yeah. the emotional out. Yeah. She'll say, you fucking and piece of shit, and don't care. And you know what'll don't happen? Matter. While you're finding a new apartment, her daughter will come find you and fuck your brains mm. out, and you don't have to live with that guilt. Well, does the twenty-year-old right. have a damn child? You're fucking good. Mm. God damn it! That's what I'm. That was the plan to not blow it up, do that split. And hope She's not gonna. Fine. The grandmother's not gonna think you're a good guy no matter what. Yeah, Doesn't yeah. matter how easily you ease out of it or not. <clears throat> She's still gonna think you're a piece of that's, shit anyway. Exactly. That's perfect. Yeah. The All right. Yeah. yeah. Get out. Just yep. Just be honest. Go go get old ass and tell her it's it's, it's a oh, rap. Yes. Tell her why and you leave. You because because your daughter is uh, and she's not my daughter. And you make sure you let her know you're not no goddamn pedophile or as Kathleen says, pederand. Oh, a pederast. Right. Wait, listen, listen to this, dude. Before you no, go, no. can everybody listen right. to it, the explanation that's, that's of not a, a pedophile? Wait a minute, she's wait, 20. Kathleen, wait a minute, because I'm gonna tell. Kathleen has introduced a new word to my life. It's called pederast. Pederast. All right, I I don't know if a lot of people not, but explain the difference between a pedophile and a pederast, Kathleen. Uh, uh, thanks for calling, dude. Thanks for calling, anyway. Yeah, a pederast right. is uh, um, it's under it's before men menace, <coughs> which before uh, puberty. Like is a, a peda. Uh, a person who no is a pederast. Is what is 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 someone who wants to have sex with people that are before puberty. Is a pederast. Like, that's wow. a pederast. <laughs> yeah. Now what's a pedophile? Six year olds. Yeah, exactly. Before they have secondary sexual characteristics like, like titties and, and that's a pederast. Wow. Yeah. Now, what's yeah. a pedophile? The pedophile would be, um, you know, underage. That's a which is that's reversed then. No, I think pedophile is children. Yeah, pedophile, pedophile. is a ch child. Pederast is a guy who wants to fuck a girl who's Ooh. underage, but, but she got titties got and tits. ass. But she's fuckable. Technically, yes, it, they they're all called pedophiles, but technically a pederast, which is worse. Is oh, oh, a okay. pederast right. is worse than a pedophile. Yeah, but a, really a pedophile. It's it's, that's a really have, fucked up pedophile. It, before yeah. you have, <laughs> <laughs> that's the Oscar you, winner for pedophile. <laughs> it's a tired pedophile. Exactly, and, and you yeah, see, a lazy pedophile. He's a pederast. <laughs> What do you call a guy that fucks a fetus? <laughs> he's a he's a pet now. He's a silly pedagogue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a uh, okay. So a pederast is the most fucked up pedophile. Exactly, right. exactly. And they don't differentiate between females and males because it's there's not much difference between an right. They don't have the secondary. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Shit. They don't like the. Blue Jim, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think I, yeah, I think she's probably right. There oh, are yeah. some differences though. Hey, uh, yeah. okay, we got oh, we got a woman calling. Thank God. Hi, Tina in Kentucky. <clears throat> so, so 
Hello? Tina, hi. yes. Tina, hi. Welcome to the Black hi, Phillips Show. Hi, how are show. you? <laughs> I'm fine. How you doing? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Go ahead, baby. Go yes. Ahead. Okay. I got a question. Go ahead. Me and my husband have been together for 18 years. Yes. And how can I make our relationship more interesting? On what On what level? Sexual. On a sexual level. Be On a, a sexual level? Well, yeah, you have to be a whore. And I'm going to tell you what you don't do, because I can hear it in your voice. You are around 40 at least? No, I'm not. How old are you? I'm 35. All right, that's 40. So that's around 40. 40. So, 30, <laughs> so 35 years old, and sex is not I good no more. I'm going to tell you what's going on. <laughs> It's not good because 35, you want to fuck. Because that's basically what the yeah, question is. She's in there. Yeah. He's not interested in you. So what? basically, let's be honest here. It's not how do we make it interesting. It's how do you get this motherfucker to want to fuck you some more. Here's what you do. Yeah. Stop stop listening to motherfucking shows that tell you to get a makeover. We don't give a fuck about your new dress, your new, <laughs> uh, you, your, your, your new makeup. Your and, nightgown, and, and the for silky God's nightgown. God's sakes. When the motherfucker comes in from work, don't have your new nighty playing some goofy slow song and with candles, candles lit and and a and a meal that he won't eat anyway because he's gonna walk in and go, oh my god, it's hot in here <laughs> and now I gotta fuck this bitch because she wants to fuck me. This is what you do. Men want to chase. That is our nature. So here's what you do. You do something so fucking filthy while he's sitting there ignoring you, reading the newspaper. Watching Jeopardy, whatever the fuck, fuck he's doing. Fuck yourself with a dildo. And you walk while he's in, watching the news. not even that, nigga. Go. You walk in and like while he's sitting there, pee on the floor next to him. Wow. I don't call him and Damian then, Karras. And then walk, walk in the kitchen and start washing dishes. And he'll go, he'll look at the piss and go, what did this bitch? Did, excuse me, did this bitch just piss on the floor? Hold up, and you're washing dishes, you're like, uh, shh, I'm washing dishes, don't bother me, motherfucker. But don't you, and then he'll wrap up the newspaper and walk in there and go, uh, you know, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you, you fucking whore. He will fuck you because you're dirty. You don't try to fucking, you're not gonna be able to speak sexy up yourself. Dirty up yourself. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Take your dignity yeah. and your self-respect and throw it in the dumpster. Do you understand? And you yeah. fuck him like every whore that you hated in your life growing up. That's how you bring it to him. Pee if you have to. Choke him if you have Spit to. Fucking do what you have. Spit in his face. Exactly. Spit in his face. Do Shit on a doily. Do, do something. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for calling, Tina. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Y'all right. rock. Uh, we're going to go to Mr. Brian in New York. Brian? Yeah, I was just wondering if the show was going to be on replay. Uh, I don't know. Is it going to be on replay? Don't know. Don't know. Oh, okay. Well, we'll find out, man. But listen now. You listen to ONA, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, they'll tell you. Them niggas will tell you, man. Um, right, well, dude. folks, listen. We're going to wrap it up, I guess, tonight for Black Phillip with Patrice O'Neill. Black Phillip. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, everybody that came in. Uh, Drew Boogie was here, but he didn't say nothing. But Drew, Drew was a soldier in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the bitch game. He really is. Um, Elo, all the fucking staff from ONA is like here helping, man. I appreciate all you guys coming and helping out. Yeah, it's a lot of people, and I appreciate it. There's man. like 25 people. Uh, oh, it's beautiful, stuff, man. I, 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 I appreciate it. And of course, Mr. Jimmy Norton, man, very special fucking visit from Aspen. <laughs> oh, treat. Mm, just a delicious little snowman. Uh, and uh, and if this show is on again, the the regular uh, guest hosts are going to be Dante, man, Dante Nero, and Kathleen Roll. Are like that's it. So that's the show. If it fucking comes on again, it does. If it don't, well, fuck you, Opie. I thought you guys, <laughs> I thought you guys did a great job. <laughs> so I appreciate y'all. I think we'd out. like to have you do it again, definitely. All right. Even Master Poe's here. Master Poe, thanks, Poe. And that's it. All right, well, thank you for joining us on the Black Phillips Show. You got 45 seconds left. Uh, well, fucking do something, you lonely motherfuckers out there. Start fucking your girls. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen, are oh, you promoting anything, Kathleen? Anything? I am not, no. New carpet cleaning product, perhaps? Someone's <laughs> hey, pissing hey, on the rug. Did you, uh, I'll be at the improv. Did you hear that, 510 Fat Man? She's a loser. <laughs> no work, no I job. Like Sounds like Edward guy. G. Robinson. Like yeah. You can fuck yeah. man. Yeah. Nothing, see? <laughs> Dante, nothing, anything? Uh, I got uh, something coming up with, uh, with A&E, uh, a reality show coming oh, up with right, A&E. that's right. That's right. It's a bouncer show. Yeah. Niggas is doing I... things. 
You hope you got anything coming up? <laughs> uh, yeah, dinner in about dinner. <laughs> 10 seconds. Hey, thanks, thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening. Those who listen, thanks for the call. Sorry we, that we didn't get to Jeff Hank Lloyd. The worst of the Opie and Anthony show. Why don't we get into the Alan Sniffin thing, Anthony? You want to explain Alan the Alan Sniffin 